Ah, Kit and Mina and Scotty. Now there's a bunch I've not spoke to for a very long time. We've got a lot to catch up on. Can everybody stop and raise her as well? <laughs> For fuck's sake. This fucking place lately. Jesus. <clears throat> like what I had for... Do you know what I had for lunch? Wheat a bit. Four. That's how exciting the gap has been between our last conversation. <laughs> right, welcome to the stream. Good afternoon. Yeah, they're like little shitty ones from... Uh, Tesco. Need loads of fibre, you see. I don't know why I said I need loads of fibre. That sounds like I'm... Everything is... Right, welcome to the stream, boys and girls. Let's stop talking about my bowels. Razor, Kitten, Mina, Scotty. How are we? Welcome to the stream. Had a fish finger wrap. Scotty over it. Oh, a fish finger wrap? Who are you, Stubble? Because I'm literally making today fish wraps. Seafood wraps, imagine. Right, yesterday we got the kettle, not the kettle, the kitchen up to speed. I did, in between streams, get some um, silver farmed, but I didn't manage to bring it home, so dearest Stubble needs us to quickly nip up to the mountaintop and farm him some, uh, and, no, and just go and retrieve some silver for upgrades. And then, do you know what I think I might do today? I might work my way through this fucking list right here, and I think we're going to build a spinning wheel so we can get our flax processed. How about that? Bye, Beach Shake. Welcome to the stream as well. Good afternoon. Look at that kitten turns up and immediately goes and does the dishes. It's like, it's like all she cared about was what I had for my lunch. Disgusting. Shake, bye, Beach. How are we? Welcome to the stream. So, I need to nip up north to Siddle's Peak. I need to, to grab this silver, we'll bring it back, and then I'm going to process it, see if I can upgrade one of my pieces of armour on my fucking fishing rod or something, and then we'll return. Alkirion, Sothan, welcome to the stream as well. Sorry, I'm tinkering with the camera to start off with. How does that look? Is that about central? Pretty good. As you can see, the weather's not the best. The sun is... Where is the sun? It's just rising in the east. It's a brand new day in Stubleton. Oh, you care about my lunch? You just turned up to hear about what I'd had for lunch, kid. Look at that view. That is a good looking kitchen, is it not? Kitten, go away. How good a looking view is that? That kitchen looks tip toppers. Sothan, good morning. I hope you well. Alkirion, good morning. Wait. If you'll make it through that list, the lighthouse is on the list. Is the lighthouse on the list? It is. It is. I've somewhat foolishly promised to make a lighthouse. Fuck me. Right, let's get some food knocked up. Now, if I recall yesterday, we made some tippy-top bread. I did. Look at the bread. Right, now, what was the other thing that I need? What was my third... Let me get my little to-do list out. My third thing was fish wraps. So what I might do before we do anything, I'm just going to nip to the plains. I want to test out my good food. I want to see what it looks like to have all of my good food items at once. So I'm just going to nip to the plains and see if the barley's grown. Alright, that is accurate. Bybee flexing with the fucking roly grail. That is the not, not the right portal, it turns out. I went to my fucking tree gazebo. I'm in half a mind to destroy the portal that takes me up to the tree gazebo so I can just forget it ever existed. Right, which one is it I'm going to? Capital... Yes, the capital portal. So I'm just going to grab some... I might, I might build a spinner today. What could I make with cloth, though? Some new stealth armour or something? Oh, there's a cheeky giggler. My bowel is not ready. Cheeky giggler, come here. Not a spoiler, but the buff you get from steamed quinoa and pomegranate seeds is way overpowered and makes the game baby mode on the last boss, which is a massive rat. Hmm. Gwynblade, welcome to the stream and thank you for the bits. I'll remember that. 
it would appear my gear is being camped by a level 2 cheeky giggler that just one-shot me through a full block. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to get my ship back because that was fucking savage. Woof. So, fishing? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you what, I'll pop bone mess. Oh, the fuck out pop bone mess because it's on cooldown. Um. Um. It's an auspicious start to the stream. Make signs for what? Sorry, baby. Oh, they are actually labelled, all of them, but I just. For some reason. Went on instinct instead of checking. Is he still here? No, he's gone. Okay, Stubal. That was a terrible start to the stream. The barley's not. Oh, the barley. Some of the barley has grown. Let me quickly grab this before that chicky giggler comes back. He must have come over here, put, kicked my head in, and left. What a guy. I don't have my farming spoon, do I? So I'm going to have to come back and sort. Remind me to sort this barley later in the stream. No idea where that chicky giggler is. He just turned up. Shit it down my throat and left. What a professional. Can I do the same bullshit again? Barley grow. Three, two, one. Fuck off. Do it now to embarrass me. Alright, turns out I've only got them powers once. In a, the the cooldown on that power is quite long. It's like... So I need a salt shaker to make it work again. What is that emo, baby? Is that a disappointed helmet with a Mohican? Because if it is, there's a bit too many emotes like that on this platform. Right, I did get some more barley, though. Let's turn this barley into dough. Then I'll make some new bread. And No, what else? No, I need to make fish wraps, don't I? Put that on as well. I need to make some new arrows as well before I get chopping, so... Remind me. So if I put the barley in here. That should start processing. I've already got 15 barley there. What are them emotes? I've never seen them emotes before. Gwynblade, thank you for the bits, by the way. Although they all oddly look familiar. I'm guessing it's Twitch bullshit. Right, I need that there. Do you know what, Scotty? Out of sheer spite, I'm actually going to go fishing. Chris Man's not here. Somebody name a number between 5 and 10. Fishing rod out. Scotty says 7. Alright, I'll catch 7 fish. It's always 7 fish. That's the Chris Man number. Some locked up ones. I'm not sure how. Ah, uh, was, was it the lockdown ones? There was a load of lockdown emotes, wasn't there? Because the 2020 ones were quite popular of the, the, the roly grail and all that sort of shit. Charles, welcome to the stream as well. This is three. Regularly misunderstanding the questions. Right, let me just die for a second. I better not be getting pooped again. Fuck that. Right, I'm going to catch seven fish, because what I need is I need... Because what I need is I need seven uh, fish, and then a fuckload of um, bread dough or barley or whatever it is, and then I can make, um, literally, Scotty, fish wraps. Oh, I'm not misunderstanding, all right. Are you being ironic, Chaz? It's worse. <laughs> There's no fucking fish. See, this is the problem with the Doom House lately. We're playing so many games at such a high rate that I'm having to, I'm having to juggle two different fishing mechanisms at once. I've spent an hour in a game fishing in one way already today. And now I'm going to have to spend another hour in a different game fishing. I'm not going to be fishing for an hour for the record. Fuck that. You know what to say about irony? It makes an ass out of iron rod. <laughs> You're so profound sometimes, Sotha. 
It goes along with your outstanding natural beauty. That was a long cast. I shouldn't have cast that far because I probably don't have the stamina to reel in whatever fish I catch. Let me eat a sausage. Just to get my stamina up a bit. Scotty, why did you say I need seven fish? I think I actually have some fish. Let me get four and take them back. This one will be interested in my worm. I've cast out so far I can't even... Let's not do it. Stubble! Stubble! Let's move to somewhere where there might be some fish. And then we're going to go north and walk south. With um, We're going to go through the portal to the north and we're going to walk back south. Hello streamer. No one is... Nobody's interested. Nothing... There's no bites. Expungenator. Nothing. Hello Expungenator. My name is not streamer. Nor is it my profession. Is somebody who bakes in the comfort of their own home a baker? Is somebody who tends to their own garden a gardener? No, because a baker and a gardener are professions. I am not a streamer. <laughs> and I refuse the moniker. Expunge it a good uh, morning. Right, can I catch at least one fish in my entire life? Here we go, here we go. There's somebody who bakes in their own home and makes profit off it, a baker? Yes! Oh, so then don't catch me in this trap. About one quarter of all adults will never have a headache in their life. I've heard that, yeah. Some people are just... Like, I've, I, there's a podcast that I used to listen to a million years ago, and one person on it thought headaches weren't real. Like, he he assumed that people were just... He didn't think it was an actual real thing. He just thought it was a headache was just like someone describing when they don't feel very positive or when they're tired or something like that. And then they had to discuss it for ages until, he real, until they all realised that there are large swaths of the world that don't get them. I like that fact, actually, Jamie. That's a bagger. Jamie, welcome to the stream. Good afternoon, and thank you for the bits. Is someone who monics in the comfort of their own home? <laughs> Monica. Where's the fish? I've got two there from that pike, so that's one thing. Do people refer to cam girls as streamer? Hey, streamer. <laughs> Imagine... A quarter of adults will never watch Stubbler play a game. <laughs> that was actually quite a good one, and I despise you for it. Expungenator will play. I don't think I've had one that wasn't part of a migraine. And if anybody says migraines are the same as headaches, I want them banned and then shot. Shot and then killed to death. Yeah. Migraines are something that you should absolutely get, keep the fuck out of. If somebody says, oh, I had a really bad migraine at work this afternoon, or if somebody can say the words, I have a migraine, they don't have a migraine. If somebody can speak... If somebody can speak, they're not having a migraine. A headache is... Yeah, it is. Yeah, you do get a, a headache with a... Yeah, you're right. A headache is just a symptom of a migraine. Nobody with a migraine can tell you they're having a migraine. Yeah, um, like unless the dif unless the differences between countries are different or something. A migraine, a, a migraine is borderline unconscious. Can't look at light. Can't definitely, definitely can't speak. You have them regularly, you just learn to live with it. And maybe we've got our... Maybe what we have is something different, Wimbled. Maybe migraines are a significantly lighter version of what we have. Reminds me of the lady who had a higher spectrum of colour that they could see. Doctors would hold up a colour page to her and ask what their colour is, and her response was, which part? Yeah, and it was all one colour to everybody else. Jawa, welcome to the stream. Good day, Stubbler, the mad mumbler. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out whether I've got a migraine or a headache. Occasionally I'll get these awful aches in the back of my eye, which is supposedly indicative of a migraine, but it makes me nauseous or not. But it makes you nauseous is not. I've got no clue. 
Is that uh, so? That's much more dramatic than the definition you use here. That does make sense because I hear a lot of people say they've got them. But yeah, when we when I don't know about Gwynblade, I think he was the same as me when we were teenagers. We would get, we would get flawed, fucking flawed by them, and they weren't considered migraines until you were pretty much unconscious. A migraine has more in common with a stroke than a headache. Yeah, there we go. They come in different levels, but a migraine is a condition, not the headache. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I guess then. So whatever we were having must have been a... Yeah, Jesus. Isn't a migraine a sign that you need a cold? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's how a lot of people treat it. But it's like when somebody's got a sniffle and a cold at work and they say, Oh, sorry, I've got the flu. Have you really? A recurrent throbbing headache that typically affects one side of the head and is often accompanied by nausea and disturbed vision. Shit. Maybe what I've been having is a migraine. Oh, so that is a mi I see. So migraines are nowhere near as bad, right? That does sound like something you can live with. Is it a lack of blood to the brain? There's maybe some different things, so then, yeah. Because I used to have, like, an awful headache and be literally falling apart and barely could, like, I had to get, be brought home from school in a car with no no music on no anything and i had to have the i had to like have a hat pulled over my eyes and even at that point people were saying hopefully this doesn't become a migraine <laughs> like i think migraine means something serious here well, you guys are dealing with extreme headache symptoms you can have flashing lights and nausea without a head yeah well it was the the headache was the headache went away and was just replaced by the 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 well i guess not really the pain and the, the the pressure that came from lights. Oh, I don't want to think about that. It sort of went away when I was a teenager. Me, 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 migraine, migraine, migraine. I, 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 my, my, my. These fucking fish aren't biting, for the record. Yeah, maybe you're right then. Okay, so I guess people are right if they say I've I've got a migraine. But I guess we just never considered them migraines until they were killing us. I've had three, I think. They all started with me thinking I was going blind, then a delirium. Then the headache bit was where you thought, yeah, the headache was a sign that it was nearly over, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. So I guess we just called it feeling unwell until it was really serious and then it became a migraine. Yeah, like Gwynblad says, though, you're like... You could only move to throw up. Where are these fish? Fuck this, right, I've got two. I think I've got some others. What the hell are you doing here, pal? I thought today's start of today's stream was going to be boring when I was walking south, but stood catching fish that don't spawn. God, I have it. Yeah, that was... It was like... Was it the same for you, Gwynblade? It was between the ages of, like... 13 and 18 or something. I guess we are we are or were predisposed to the motherfucker version. I've been looking for the not suffer them off. The, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that was a thing that went away because it's been a very long time. Two consecutive birthdays. Shot. Oh, remind me, I need to do the field as well. Yeah, when they're that bad, it's really intense. Never felt anything like a highly active migraine. I see, I see. So maybe we just skipped all of the mild stuff and went straight to the difficult ones. I wonder why it was... Because it feels like a genetic thing if the only two people that have suffered them that bad are Gwynblade and I. I don't think our parents ever had them. The laundry list of stuff our mother suffered with. I don't think that was one of them. But I don't know. Right. Yes, Mina, remind me. Never felt pain that intense ever before. Oh, never felt anything like a highly... Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I don't usually like to sit here and claim that I've had it worse than everybody and can talk on things like this, but them things were all too common and awful. Uh, right, so I have 11 raw fish. It turns out it wasn't raw fish I needed, and I've wasted our fucking time, but I'll cook these. Oh, do I need to cook them wolf meat? Sexual Fuck. headaches are severe headaches that develop in the midst of sexual activity, including during masturbation and orgasm. Other names for this condition are benign sex headache, benign vascular sexual headache, coital cephalalgia, coital headache, 
orgasmic cephalalgia, and orgasmic headache. Siri can't pronounce coital. What a loser. Stupid Siri. Thank you, Scotty, for the information. Of course, that was off the top of his head and not Google. I didn't mean to cut them wolf meat. That was... I've done a big bad oopsie there. But with all of this meal now, let me go see if I can process some more barley. Barley. The cause of Stubbler's headache as a teenager. I did make a lot of early mistakes far too early. To my great shame and danger. But got away with it. Oh baby, give me a benign vascular sexual headache. <laughs> Shit, stop talking dirty. It's fucking two o'clock in the afternoon. Right, um, I wanted to make fish wraps, didn't I? But I need my cooked fish. If I take that out, I should make, be able to make fish wraps for days. What if I just burn? Sorry, we've got some coal. Did I just burn fish there or wolf meat? Fucking wolf meat! I can't be trusted. Right, I'm making fish wraps. My first one when I was 12 was like that. I got up at 2am, walked home from my cousin throwing up the entire way. Oh, Jesus. I used to think that it was bad... It was bad bar food or something. Too fat I ate the day before, but on my birthday you found out you had appendicitis. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jower, of course. Here's some bad news. Careful of Gwynblade, he's got a migraine. My mother suffers from making too many your mum jokes to my brother. Does she actually? Fuck that jawa, that sounds disgusting. Orgasmic headache sounds like a headache. So good, you coom. You speak like I've got that word banned in the channel. It's fudging it. Fucking hell, I use too much wolf kebab thing. Tell you what. This is where I now test how good my food is. Although I need my sausages to wear off, which is an interesting statement. It's fish wraps... Let me take all of them out, put them in the good food chest. I'm going to take all my bread, put them in, the, in there, and I'm going to test. Uh, put them in there as well. So this is my current best food setup, I think. Um, and I'll take them out with me as well. Right, Let's. where am I going? Let's go up north, because I need to get my uh, stuff back. I need to get my silver. Right then, up there, and I'll move that back. Good. So when this says sex cures headaches, they lie. But when somebody doesn't want to, and they say, "Oh, sorry, I can't tonight. I've got a headache," you can say, "Well, it can't get any worse then." Spent my birthday bending over waiting for an ambulance in the middle of COVID pandemic. Later, hooked up to an IV and desperate for a drink and a piss. After forever darkness, I got all my clothes removed and operated. Wait, they tore all your clothes off, Jawa? You, they tore off your fucking Doomhouse Gaming merchandise? Disgusting. I guess my biggest thing here is that I don't go one day without some kind of headache now, so I don't realise I have a migraine when it comes on and it's well too late. Laying down at that point just makes it worse, which is also a condition I'd have to Google to remember the word of. That's what I mean by you just get used to the pain. I don't realise it's a migraine until I'm curled over a toilet. Shouting Yui into the uh, porcelain microphone. Shout to Mike Hardin. I'd be very surprised if that was a reference to anybody but Gwyn. It's <laughs> gone. Do you take pills to prevent migraines? Oh, kitten. I've got into the strange mode of not taking any pills to cure anything. Can I just throw that, that in there? Yeah. I don't know what, I've got this, do you know when you've got consumables in games and you think, I'm not going to take this now because I might need it on the next boss. And then you end up finishing the game with them all, right? It's like the most common relatable statement in video games. I, um, I'm a bit like that with medication. Like sometimes if I've got a headache or something, I'll stop and I'll think. The 28 years. Which is strange because I don't even speak in that accent. Um... Garfs, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the 28 years. That is disgusting. What am I doing? I need to throw up. Um, I'm sometimes like that with medication and stuff. Like, I think I, I could take some ibuprofen to cure this, or I could get rid of this headache pretty quickly if I took a paracetamol or something like that. 
but then I don't want to dull the dull our effective, even though this is not how it works at all. Just nobody look at Stubble. And sometimes I think I'll just muscle through this and then, because like, painkillers now are like rocket fuel for me. Sorry, Stubal needed that. It was very important. Right, now let me try all of my good foods. Look at my stamina bar. See, that's a big health bar and a big stamina bar. Which is exactly what I was looking for with this setup. Gaffs, I apologise. I was a bit busy doing some Doom House bullshit there. Gaffs, welcome to the stream. Good afternoon and thank you for the 28 months. Ridiculous. Ludicrous. I appreciate the generosity as always. Thank you, Gaffs. I don't, uh, I used to, but I don't want to go to a GP for a full year again just to get put on high dose ibuprofen. That's a bit basic, isn't it, for that? Right, where am I going? Yak! So this is going to be my food setup for a while. Told me to undress when I couldn't sit straight. Next thing I remember is waking up with a house sticking out on my side, feeling like I had a Corsica rally stage in my mouth. <laughs> I would know that feeling well. Right, here is my silver storage, so I just wanted to nip south with this silver. Lovely. That sucks though, the uh, Jawa. Taking too much pain meds for headaches is none to go. Do you know what? I used to work with a guy who would take, every morning, he would take a headache medication, like paracetamol or something like that. He I need thistles, actually. He would take headache medication. He would take, like, anti sort of. What's Beecham's? I don't know what they are. It's like a, a allergy stuff. Take anti-allergens and all that sort of stuff. It took about three or four different things and um, anti-inflammatories every morning just in case something might happen. And he got so into such a loop that he got paranoid and didn't stop. And he was just taking them for the about six years I worked with him. Like, he got paranoid if he stopped... He, he couldn't remember what he felt like when you're on like antidepressants or whatever. You sometimes worry that you don't can't remember what you were like underneath. He was like that, but with bloody headache medication. Speedrunning cured me of that, but now I'm pretty liberal. It translated into real life too. I now put 30 blood pressure meds at once. <laughs> well, I don't care if there's a boss coming up. I'm just going to take these now, he says in real life. Why, why doesn't the vomit sound mimic a murloc baby? It does sound similar. But not similar enough. Headache was an appendicitis. Neat. I haven't had a headache like that since. So you've got a headache from appendicitis. Sounds like a Murloc having diarrhea. See, an epilepsy medication used for migraine prevention. It's not all ibuprofen. Yeah, I tried that one time, but it was for seizures and it helped me, but still had to take a, a ibuprofen. It's liver, but I know. I know. Double book to dentist appointment. Yeah, but you can get all four sets of teeth sorted. Yeah, it's such a strange idea that. He was sort of like he'd forgotten what his normal health was like underneath, so he dared go back to it. So he just kept ramming all that down. It must have been expensive as well. I know ibuprofen is like twenty p for. How much you, you can get? What sixty ibuprofen in this country for about eleven pence, which is what. 11 cents, probably, now, uh, given our economy. It was fucking... Really, it's, uh, why is it that cheap? Yeah, get both at once, you're done in half the time. But both dentists will be wrestling for uh, real estate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, kid. Do them at the same time. Balls deep, right? Which is not what you want to say to your dentist. Gwynblade, do, do you go to the dentist in our town? I don't know if you're still there, but the... The, um, the, the guy that works on me... Oh, he goes to your dentist, so then. No wonder he's away for big, long periods of time every six months. 
I mean, it's blissful, but I didn't realise that he was out there to commute that long. Yeah, the guy that does me, I don't know where he's from. He's from... He might be from India. I don't know. I'm not asking. God, is he handsome. <laughs> I just look up into his eyes and I'm like... Ugh. I just hate being straight sometimes. Pounds are bigger than dollars. but Oh, so it's gone back in the other direction, I see. Our economy went to shit and it got close at one point. Oh, seagulls, I need uh, feathers. Hit my shot. You've now booked one three days before your birthday. Is it... Oh, you said Friday, right? What was your appointment? It's not that we haven't already spent fucking four, three hours, two hours, two hours, one hour in, I couldn't... Uh, It's not like we as a group haven't already spent an hour in each other's company talking shit before this. There we go. It's Scotty's birthday. Happy birthday, Scotty. Everybody wish Scotty a happy birthday. I don't know whether or not he likes birthdays, but I want you to know that I've remembered that it's Scotty's birthday, so I'm going to force it through just so you all think, wow, Stubble's such a good friend, even though I saw it on the internet. Yeah, Facebook. <laughs> also, it's not Scotty's birthday for the record. <laughs> That's what most people do, right? People are so people want to be the first to wish you it, and they do it really publicly, as if to say, "I remembered." And by remembered, they mean didn't remember at all. It is, and I absolutely I hate it. Yeah, fuck that. Ooh, there's a person's birthday here. Let me make myself look fucking virtuous. Watch this shot. Oh, fuck that seagull, it ran away. There's a shot. I need feathers really badly. I'm just getting embarrassed by seagulls here. Yes. Every time I see somebody say happy birthday in the Doom House, I usually fact check it on Facebook first if I... Yeah. But even if it is their birthday, most of the time people don't actually want that calling out. Or a lot of the or some of the time, should I say. Turns out once I brought that up, I was definitely not the only one. I get so much less birthday greetings now I'm not on Facebook and I'm alright with it. Yeah, because you get real ones, don't you? So, I got really uncomfortable with birthdays, as you all, as most of you know. And I made a massive mistake in 2020. But the good ones don't make it. Uh, don't mention it when the time comes. Um, and I now judge who is or isn't a good friend based on who responds to my request to not call out birthdays. Uh, genuinely. If people try and do some bullshit joke or something instead of respecting it, I just, I sort of emotionally fuck them off. I don't need pigs anymore, do I? Why am I doing this? Can I link a song for Scott? You can, but I very much doubt anybody will click it, Joe. Same as in the Discord. I get so much, yeah, exactly. Wait till November. Wait, is that your birthday, Siddles? No, we had Siddles' birthday recently. I like hearing it, yeah, but not from strangers or people I went to school with that bullied me. Yeah, exactly, because people want to be the one that remembered. I hope so, so then, yeah. But yeah, I judge, like, I've kind of pretty much emotionally written off a lot of family members and stuff that were like, no, it's, it just doesn't like his but It's just a phase. What? Just because they get a hard on from the attention doesn't mean that you can override everybody else's requests, right? We aren't friends, Stubble, so I can wish you a happy birthday. Fucking villain. Siddles, welcome to the stream. You got away with your bird. Did I seem to remember. Did we not mention? I, I, I'm sure I'm, I don't know. I feel like we talked about it recently. You can't just skip a year, Siddles. That's not how this works. A few mentioned it and nobody actually in Discord. Gotcha. I feel like you brought it up in stream or something. You're telling me that inside of uh, instead of adhering to someone's wishes and continuing to do something ironically isn't cool. Well, you'd be surprised in this internet age. 
It's sad to know that Stubbler isn't in favour of his family's hard ones. <laughs> I saw an article about a man who won a lawsuit in America because his office made a big deal for his birthday when he specifically asked them not to. Sheikh, you are speaking my language. My legal eagles are going to be pulled back from whoever it is I'm currently suing. Sothan, in a nutshell. My problem is that if I tell family that it's something I'd rather not celebrate, they're suddenly the victims. True. Twat. Do you know what, Cheeky? Is ne you've never said a truer word. <laughs> Cheeky, welcome to the stream. Right, I'm back with the silver. Sorry for a slightly stunted start to the stream, but I had a couple of chores I needed to do. Mina? Do I have any other chores I need to do, seeing as you're the person who signed up to be, to be the reminder? Cheeky, welcome to the stream. Good afternoon. I'll say this. Uh, I think I know... It and seek confirmation from Gwynblade. The absolute legend refused to tell me out of respect. Gwynblade isn't all that bad. No, he is. He didn't offer enough money. <laughs> Mina, well played. There it is. I had to remind you to remind me, but we fucking got there in the end. Oh, <laughs> seven. <laughs> People in your family actually get mad you don't want to say Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much so. Christmas, even worse. You tell somebody you don't want to do Christmas anymore and they treat you like you are, you've just shit on their their carpet. I heard a story about a bloke who won the lottery. His ex sued for half of it, then his brother ordered him, ordered a hit on him to get the inherit. Jesus Christ, that's why when I won the lottery, I didn't tell anybody. Dad couldn't remember his age and would forget his birthday, so didn't want to celebrate. We just didn't. That was pretty good. You got your taxis gun. Good shit, cheeky. Right, let me smelt this silver. Granted, they don't go wild. I decided to go to a cheap restaurant where you meet up, have dinner, then split. As long as it's on your terms, right? Because if it's on anybody else's, then that's awful. Right, I've got one coal. I don't have enough. Why is all my coal gone? Fucking Willy one coal over here. We had an office admin girl who was with us for a while and demanded to know all the team's birthdays for her calendar so she could get a card signed by everyone for people's birthdays. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read that again. We had an office admin girl who was with us for a while and demanded to know all the team's birthdays for her calendar so she could get a card signed by everybody for people's birthdays. She got another role elsewhere before it was got to mine, thank God. You see, there is absolutely zero part of that, whether she knows it or not, that was for the benefit of the people whose birthday it was. A, she either A, enjoyed it, or B, got a, self, a sense of self-worth or value from it. Like, blah. You could finally get any good mouse. Good shit. If you weren't there for Christmas morning, there was a full blood fit pitch by everyone in the family, and it's the same for Thanksgiving. I'd rather do away with it, to be honest, but I get hit with that. See, that's what I did, Soth, and I was rather ruthless. And I looked at everybody, and if anybody was uh, angry with me for not wanting to celebrate my own birthday, I just wrote them off. Is that two tin? Yeah, it is. That I hate. Someone from work was wishing me a happy birthday. I don't care for 99% of the people I work with. Are we... Are we bad? Or are we just honest? Are people that love their birthdays and love Christmas. All power to you. I'm, I'm certainly not judging people who do. We're judging the people who don't respect the people who don't. Does that make sense? Definitely not judging the people who do like that kind of thing. Yeah, I know, Seth, that I appreciate that. Just a bit off and childish at work, and getting a card back for a 60 year old that's waiting for retirement. Yeah. You can be honest. You can be honest and be a sociopath. Mina, exactly right. It's the good old boundaries. Don't cross any boundary on assumption. We've had enough fucking trouble with that. Yeah, it was quite a cunt about it. I was quite a cunt about it with the family. I regret it a bit now, but. I quit doing holidays at my parents, including birthdays, Christmas and Thanksgiving, and I've learned to live with it. Yeah, you've got to kind of... Like, if they're into it, right? Or, like, if the person that's judging you is into it, then let them celebrate their own. But don't, don't let them make you celebrate yours just because they want to, right? I love my birthday and appreciate people who message me, but it has to be people I like. Yeah, true. 
over a week to ship out a thing that was according to their site was in stock. It didn't specify that it was in stock at the importer. <laughs> it's not even in the country. I brought my girlfriend home to meet my family. They criticized everything she did, mocked her heritage and gave her a psychiatric disorder. I guess I shouldn't have insisted on the royal treatment. <laughs> Santa, welcome to the stream and thank you for the bit. Is that to say though, that despite not wanting a fuss on your birthday or whatever, you should respect other people by making fun, making a fuss of theirs? I think if somebody wants wants a fuss made out of them for their birthday, then I don't think that's a problem. If they want it and if they're asking for it, if they don't get it and they're angry, then they're wankers. But yeah, people want to make a fuss. if people want people want what they want, right? It's just unfair on expectations on those put on put on me being the eldest of the three kids. It drove me mad, so I just said fuck it and done. Understood, understandable. My family does the same for birthdays and holidays. I let them. I tell them I don't care to force. I don't care to force celebrating a day, and they hit me with, "Well, what if we don't get another one?" Trying to make me feel guilty. <laughs> Imagine that. I want to celebrate your birthday with you. Well, I'd rather not. Well, what if you die in the next year? That's a pretty good. Do you know what I mean? That's like guilt trip Olympics. Bali, grow. Three, two, one. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. I'm not getting good at keeping up with messages though. Assume when people tell you that kind of stuff, they are honest. If they're not, they're cunts anyways. With what? Uh, sorry, Mina. Assume when people tell you that kind of stuff, they are honest. And if they're not, they're... Yeah, exactly. If they're not honest about it, then they're already a dickhead and you can write them off as it is. I didn't bring me farming spoon. Why did I? Oh, I did. Farming spoon's there. Sorry, boys. I'm having a really stunted start to this, but I'll get going in a second. I'm going to build a spinning wheel next. I just need. To, there's just chores that I need to do now. I'm a big farmer, not with a PA. You know what I mean. Don't eat that birthday cake then. Wait, what if you don't want a party but you get it, then you're angry. But if they want a ce they want a celebration and don't get it and they get angry, then they're hang on. If you if you don't want a party but you get it, then you're angry. But if they don't want a celebration and don't get it, then they get angry, then they're wankers. I'm not quite sure what I might take a bit of decoding. Yeah, tr exactly. Trim had a week-long celebrate birthday celebration, and we went along with it because he he was he was fucking lapping it up, <laughs> and he has every right to. Of course, he does. Sounds like a threat, it does it? Yeah. Oh, people tell you the but yeah, true, 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 true. If people tell you the boundaries, and people just don't fuck. Because we've had some serious overstepping recently, and it's you can, you can kind of categorise people that. That have their own, that respect other people's boundaries, and people are so wrapped up in their own shit that they assume everybody wants the same thing they do and just bleh, ruin everything, right? Everyone in the South has week long birthdays. It's your birthday to celebrate, precisely. My grandmother started doing that a lot, and my stepfather. You should have kids soon, or I won't get to meet them. Oh, that's such a big decision to force on somebody, isn't it? Uh, what am I eating now? I've got some wolf meat. I've got some food, but I'm, I'm thinking of staying out in the plains for a while. I'll tell you what I need to do yet. Sorry, everyone. I appreciate this is a slow start. Satan, welcome to the stream. How are we? We're talking about birthdays. The people who tell you the opposite of what they want and then play the guessing game can big time fuck off. Yes. People who hint can fuck off. Oh, it's dark in me farm. Look at this, though. Apart from the tree branches that fall in it. Look at just 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 bask. Just bask in that beauty. Oof. But I don't need turnips anymore, I need onions. Satan, how are we up the stream? What about the people whose boundaries are there because of their insecurities and deep down they wish they should they wish you cared more? Yeah, exactly. I can't cope with anything other than blunt honesty. It drives me mad. 
And if I hear that people are doing one thing in front of my face and talking about another thing from behind, not from behind, that was the wrong terminology, but... Sometimes I hear that somebody's got a problem really late, and I think, well, why didn't you fucking say it? Am I a, am I a person that's really bad to bring problems to? I'm uncomfortable with how impressed I am seeing a video game mechanic. I'm uncomfortable with how impressed I was about seeing a video game mechanic anticipated so well. What with the uh, the corn yesterday? <laughs> that was quite a good clip. I must admit, you might be seeing that in a best of. Nobody click the link, everybody. Nobody click the link. I was actually meaning it's maybe unfair to write those people off. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of them, like, it... Like... I guess I can't relate to the point where it stresses me out in an equal measure on the opposite side of the scale. Maybe just incompatible personalities. Yeah, that's brutal, that. Now that assumes you take... You'd take the kids to see them, even when they're born. I'd happily celebrate other people's birthdays, but on mine, the most I do is brew some coffee. And close friends decide to come over, so basically, like any other day, exactly. Why change, right? Oh, well, look, a twat. The Gwimblade's been here a while. I had those issues as well, Chaz, uh, with them knowing full well I would struggle. I need to plant some onions. Let me just plant some onions. One, two, three, four, five... I would struggle to get pregnant, let alone carry a child, yet still continue to ask me all the time when I'm going to have a baby for them. Literally, my mother and sister's words, when are you going to have a baby for me? Like, you know what, fuck off. Yeah, I think our mother would very, 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 very much appreciate grandchildren. But, I don't think either of us, not to speak for you, Gwynblade, but I don't think either of us are that, uh, have even considered it for five seconds. I've just I should have made seed onions. I can make some seed onions. One, two, three, four, five. Children, Gwynblade. Not me and you, that would be that would be against science, but I think um God damn is she respectful. I gotta say I, I don't want to speak for you, Gwynblade, even though I'm fairly sure I would be safety. Oh yeah, fuck that noise. <laughs> there you go, there's an assumption made. Yeah. Even though there's nothing she would like more, I'm sure. Again, science, religion, morals, the Yorkshire way. <laughs> and I was going to say, we found, we both found partners that were also not as interested in that, but I guess. If you dis if you disagree over that in a relationship, then that is not the right partner. Right? That's one thing you can't afford to disagree over in a relationship. Um, that should be enough, right? I've got some. T I don't really need turnips at this point, though, which hurts. I wouldn't want to breed with me either. To be fair, <laughs> read an article recently about declining birth rates that suggests the economy is less of a cause than we all think. What? So the People assume that the economy is a cause for the lower birth rates. Why would the would the economy make much of it? I guess if people are in a bleak situation and can't justify or can't afford to raise children, that doesn't make sense. Um, what am I doing now? I've got barley that needs to go in. Onion seeds I can put in there. Right. Let's make ourselves... Oh, there's some onion... No, I've got onion seeds in here. I do. Shit. Boys and girls, I'm nipping back now. I haven't got any room in the farm anymore. I need onions. I really need onions. Okay. Uh, let me repair the cultivator, put it away, and then we'll move on to the next bit. Apologies, ladies and gents, for being slow. It said it's mostly just fear that our kids will turn out like Gwyn... I mean, that's fair. People are broke, so they don't want to make kids. That apparently doesn't actually stop people that much. But does it stop... Does it only not stop certain people? Like, is there a swath of society that 
that wouldn't be put off regardless, but are they... I don't want to say idiocracy. I've said this before, but there's evidence that younger generations have a higher cases of erectile dysfunction com uh, thanks to the accessibility of pornography, which is killing the tradition of teeth and kill killing the tradition of teeth. <laughs> that sounds funny. Yeah, it is. It's actually true. I guess it's all right. Well, people are getting their sexual gratification in their own fucking bedrooms on their own now, right? Whereas before, we used to chase each other around. And now, like you say, people's tastes in corn, as the stream title suggests, are uh, are getting so... Because they, they do develop, don't they? They, they? You go down a bit of a line, like... When's the last time you searched for missionary? If you're honest. That all of a sudden, normal sexual intercourse looks a bit vanilla. A bit default, as it were. My friend comes over with her two boys at times and I get enough of that life in about half an hour. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you uh, yeah, and you get it in a sense where you can just leave it behind. <laughs> Bam porn, we need more teen pregnancies. <laughs> Fuck it up. Here, here, Satan. Jesus, right. It's time for me to make... I've retrieved the silver from the north. Or Sila, as I've written, because I can't spell. I said I was going to build it. Why do I want to build another windmill? Whose idea was that? Do I need more iron for another windmill? Maybe I don't need another windmill. I need iron nails. Have I got 30 iron nails kicking around? I might have some iron nails, actually. I've got seven iron. I've got some iron there, too. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. right. To make another windmill, I'll do it because barley might become super important. 20 stone, 30 wood, and some iron nails. Then you get married and you don't get a chance anyway. <laughs> don't have to drive to make out point to see a tit. You just have to piss off a weird Kerbal viewer to see Willy's as well now, don't you? Based on an anime character. Right, well, hang on a minute. Uh, 30 iron nails, 20 stone, and I need 30 wood. I don't want any more bloody kids. I have to have been utter twats all day, and by the sound of things, they're still being twats upstairs. <laughs> Strong usage of the word twats in respect. Right, uh, what are we doing? 30 wood. To see a tit, I just check out Twitch at 2pm every day. Love you, Scotty. I wonder where they got that from, Satan. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall out from the twat. <laughs> fuck knows I'm mellow as fuck, or at least I used to be. Says somebody we call Satan. We've covered some topics this last few weeks. I don't know what has happened. Like, it just it, it feels like our range of conversation this last few weeks has just blown so wide open. Just fucking idiots, that's why. Well, just because I encourage things doesn't mean I do them. I'm only half immoral. <laughs> Immoral was that kids' TV show, right, with the different coloured houses. <laughs> You've morphed into Jeremy Fine. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe we need 2021's oversensitivity back so we can just keep on the tracks. Alright, how about this for a perfect punchline? 2021, I was playing Jeremy Kyle. 2022, I'm playing Jeremy Vine. And if the sensitivity's really relaxed, in 2023, I'll be Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Fuck. 
It's a shame I, uh, I maybe over egged the pudding by opening with this is the best punchline ever. That's the perfect basis for somebody to find what you're about to say funny, right? In 2019, you were barely Matthew Wright. <laughs> I think it does feel, like genuinely, I think it does feel like a bit more, pretty much like our shackles have been reduced a little, have been sort of removed a little bit, metaphorically speaking. Look how beautiful that farm is. Ooh, look how orderly that is. Not that orderly that comes and make sure your trousers are pulled up, Gwynblade. Look, look at that. Right, now I've got 30 wood, we're going to make another windmill, and then the next thing is we're going to make a spinner. And I'm going to put my flax in my spinner. Do I need a... like a... What do you call a building that people do tailoring in? I keep wanting to say like a... loom house. That was unintentional for the record. Don't come to me claiming that I'm some sort of villain. If I put this windmill here, then we've got double windmills. Good. Right, I've got two windmills now. So if I make the farm in the plains significantly bigger, then we can get double the productivity from our mills. A flax mill. Is that actually a word, Gwynblade? Is that actually it? Right, we've got double windmill. That is lovely. I might actually get this iron smelted. But I don't have any coal, do I? Let me put seven in here. Or eight, and then six in there. Then they can be turned into coal. Put this away. I'm starting to realise why this is a fucking multiplayer game and not a single player game. I'm having to play every cog in about 15 different factories now. Press one if this is boring as fuck to watch. Please press one. Call me. Do me a favour. Thank you. So there are flax mills. So that might just be it. Because I am processing, literally processing flax with this. Did I get any turnips? I didn't. Idiot. I might make some onion stew. You really enjoy doing this multiplayer. What, be in the... Be in the factory? You can get any liquid out of that. Is it a bit... Yeah, I was thinking that. Is it a bit easy on multiplayer, this game? Not easy, but... Is the challenge... Does the challenge still lie in doing it single player? What can I cook as my third food? I'm thinking of making something that isn't one of my... Oh, yeah, i tell you what I might make. Uh, can I make enough ice cream? I think ten, Scotty. Is that right? Ten people can fit into a Valheim server? 10 by default, what, so you can force it open with mods and stuff. Can I make ice cream out of this? And I don't actually have a speech impediment, that's just how... Oh, fuck, I've got no wood. Why, do my, why does my life revolve around having or not having enough fucking lumber? I like how you can mod more people to a server. But you've not done more than six. We were thinking about having a Doom House server at one point, but that might be a long way in the future. What am I missing? Am I actually missing Grey Dwarf Eyes? I'm the first Valheim player in the history of this game to be missing Grey Dwarf Eyes. It's bad, Stubble. That, that's bad. That's bad, pal. Bad form. Got seven days to start again when it comes to Game Pass. Yeah, but you speak like there is anybody left in the Doom House that doesn't own seven days to die. That plays the, anybody in the hyper regular group, should I say. Everybody's already got it, right? Who's got it out of the regulars? If we were to fire up a server tomorrow... Everybody that regularly plays games has a copy. Who the fuck is approving games as being finished enough for Game Pass? Yeah! But I think Seven Days doesn't ever intend to be finished. I know it's going to go gold shortly, but it's not like... It's a bit more like Seven, it's Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves didn't finish now. 
Even Razor owns it and he wasn't around. Yeah, and he eats it just as much as we do, which is beautiful. I'm off my morning conference. Yes, there's the lighthouse look spinning in the distance. I've just not got the torches lit on it yet. Right, what's next on this to-do list? Because I'm getting... I'm getting distracted. Right, spinny wheel. I think I might need some more iron for the spinning wheel. Let me see. I want to know what I can make out of flax. Oh, I only need ten iron nails. Lovely. Funny, you funny man. As if I would respect people's wishes in this place. Yeah, ground. I might play that on stream when it gets finished, because that game felt kind of good to start with. I like the look of that. And the story stuff, I think everybody did it long before I got anywhere near it. Did I just... There we go, put the scrap iron in. Everybody just ran off and did whatever story content there was in it and then... Left there and then I was miles behind, so I don't even know what the story is. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not tried it, but it's been on my wish list. But the, the second the open beta or whatever it is came out, we immediately went in with the full group of four. And uh, everybody just ran away and did all the story, and I was struggling to walk three feet. And there was about three minutes. Exactly, so if there was only three minutes of story content, and I missed it. Right, five leather scraps. Nice to use leather. You know you've you should have built something a long time ago when it requires leather. 20 fine wood. Pray to the gods of fine wood. 15. Life is all about not having enough fine... I tell you where I might be able to get some fine wood. I might have to eat though, let me eat. Fine wood? Look at my stamina bar. 190 stamina. Sorry, I forgot the list on screen. And now there's about 5 minutes, that, which includes a 2 minute intro cinematic. Right, which portal is it? I think it's the capital portal, the one where the barley is. I had to blitter a way out recently. Yeah, that was that artistic uh, two-player game, right? Couch co-op. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, here's the fine wood trees. Lovely. Let's push one of these in the sea. Take this big best of you. It's on the list for you and the other half to play. People said it was really good, yeah. But I think back when everybody re uh, reviewed it, or not reviewed it, but the streamers were playing it and stuff, people were, um... People seem to foolishly think that length means quality. Before you do it. Whereas it very much does not. Played it takes two. Yeah, we have she sucks at it. Good, got enough. Let's go back through. Sorry, Gwynblade. Did you see the beauty of the klaxon? Is that and get ahead of it? So if people think they're going to type a joke about how that sounds like a sex word. Luckily, I've got ahead of it and cut it off at the pass. Right. Um, what am I making? Spinny wheel. Whoa, look at that! New bike for Stubel. Where can I put it? You can't just have it outdoors, can you? That would feel a bit strange. Okay, yes you can. What can I do with a spinny wheel? Uh, as a rule, do you guys have your spinning wheel outside your kitchen in real life? My partner struggled, struggled with some of the mechanics of It Takes Two, but we made it all the way through. It's a great game. It did look good watching Cheeky and uh, Chris Man and everybody play it. Independently, I should say. Can I put flax in it? How do I flax? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that! Going for it! Your great grandmother's got it takes two in her living room. Are we ready for a new age of Stubleton? 
We are entering the linen padded curious padded greaves linen cape black metal axe black metal axe porky what the fuck is a porky a locks saddle what black metal axe locks saddle do you know what I'm going to do? Because the fuck the Iron Nails bullshit, because this game hates me, I'm going to clip the last 60 seconds of stream. Oh, I don't want to hear my fucking voice. Right, and then I'm going to scroll back on 25% speed and just see what it is I just unlocked. Because the Iron Nails scandal has cost me greatly. You shouldn't be looking at your Nana's loom. Next thing you'll be building flying cats. Right, I unlocked linen thread. I unlocked the padded curious black metal at gear. Padded curious, padded greaves. Let me have a look what they do. Is this my next armour? Black metal armour, maybe? Whoa, I imagine Stubble's going to look sexy. Padded, right. Armour 25. Finely wrought and strong enough to turn even the sharpest blades. Durability of the repair station. Armour 24. But it's just more iron. Armour 26. Armour 24. Movement speed minus 5. But this is grade 3. Build linen nails, don't forget. Padded briefs. <laughs> man. Call them adult diapers nowadays. Finally, right, strong enough to turn. So, strong enough to turn even the sharpest blades. That's what it says about that, right? No, Wolf Conjecture 1 it protects against the cold. So, if I compare armor 26 minus 5, 1000 durability to. I mean. Look at that. Oh. Alright. So if it's the wolf armor chest was armor 20 minus 5 and padded curious is armor 26. This is better than my current armor, right? But I just need to farm iron for it, which is weird. So I'm, am I right in thinking that the wolf armor chest, other than the cold protection you get from it, this stuff is better, as, as in for heavy armor that Stubal would be wearing? Surely. And then I would be upgrading the crap out of it. Yeah, because the wolf armor legs are 20, but they're the same movement speed. These are just genuinely better, aren't they? Ooh, do I make new good new goods? I'm going to have to, aren't I? I need to raid camp, swish, boob, and piss, because of the fuck they do, man. And then, um, black metal chest, black metal pants. Black metal axe. I'm assuming that axe is better than my current one. Let me just in there. The black metal axe does 170 no 100 slash damage, and mine does 60. Blood force parry bonus times two. Everything's the same apart from the knockback gives more. And it uses 14 stamina to swing as opposed to 10, so it does use more stamina. But my food should account for that. Right, what else did I unlock? I unlocked... A porcupine, a lock saddle, and a black metal sword. Porcupine... I was excited, I must admit. A deadly weapon bristling with fiendish spikes, one-handed. 50 blunt force, 45... P blunt and pierce, because it's got spikes, look. Knock back 90. Parry bonus of two. See, that's good. I know I'm, I've focused axes, but that looks top. Let me investigate. Do I make the porcupine or do I? Don't tell me what's the best, please. Let me investigate. 
Well, that slash damage is... See, that's a 100. That is a 100 slash damage. But then, the porcupine... Where's the porcupine gone? The porcupine does 50 and 45, so it does 95 damage, but split over Blunt and Pierce. The parry bonus is the same, but it has a knockback on it. I'm assuming this knockback is less. Yeah. This does 5 damage, but only slash damage, which means that if I come across something that is immune to slash damage, then I can't use this axe, and I'd have to go back to my Iron Mace or something. Ah, I don't know. I feel like I go... Should we go with the axe? Because Stubble's used axes from his first day all the way until now. He might as well have the best axe in the game, right? There's a two-handed fucker there. Look at the size of that thing. What do you reckon? And then I need to make... How do you make a lock saddle? Is that on here somewhere? Lock's K? Huh? Lock saddle. Use on a locks to be able to ride it. Press 1 if you'd like to ride a locks. One of them big mammoth things in the... Stubble on a mount. Imagine how much I'm going to be able to, ex to explore the plains if I could ride on the back of a... Alright. Everybody seems to be up for the idea. So after black metal axe, chains, chest and pants, we will uh, locks... Saddle. I did think that I put black metal lats. Why I put them both up there anyway? What am I doing? Lock saddle. It requires a lot of black metal. I'm going to be. I'm going to have to farm so much of the plains off stream. Right. Um. Let's make a long ship. God, we really are in the. We've got a lot to do, but we're in the dying. Not the dying, but we're in the downhill slope of this playthrough it feels like now I can't imagine, well there doesn't need to be any better gear does there where am I going to put this stuff though linen thread, I'll put it in the valuables box I need iron for days how much iron does it take to make one of these big long ships 100 iron nails that needs 5 iron, no 10 iron I might have that please say I've got 10 iron and I don't need one more God, I'm so interested in this game all of a sudden. There's eight. Have I got two in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you ready for a new ship? A big bastard. Do I need this? It might be faster. Right. Ten iron nails. And then we're off we're off big, big goblin whacking in the back half of today's stream. How about that for a solemn promise from Stubble? From Stubble, should I say? Has that gone out? Yeah, it's fucking out of coal in that thing. Right, I need ten... A hundred iron nails. That's ten. Twenty. Thirty. Razor was saying this earlier, and I kind of agree with him. Nails, as a component of bigger things, shouldn't be required to unlock bigger things. You should somehow unlock something that needs iron nails, which makes you then make iron nails, as opposed to the other way around. Right, so I've got 100 iron nails. I've probably not got near enough wood because I never have enough wood for whatever I want to do. 10 deer hide. Ten deer hide. Forty ancient bark. Ah, we're covered. We're covered. Forty ancient bark. And 40 fine wood, which I definitely don't have. I, again, I'm off out fi finding fine wood, because apparently Stubble's life revolves around how much fine wood he has. I'm sure you... Di I, was, I was about to say, I'm sure you disagree, Expunge, here, but I can kind of understand it. See, look at the storm, look, my mills are going crazy, despite having nothing in them. So I can put that iron away. Um... Kitten, welcome back. I've unlocked the next age. Look, I've got a spinny wheel. We're in the black metal age now. But it's cool and like the music. 
I said I'm done cleaning them, not I'm back. Kitten, congratulations for being done cleaning. Here I am complimenting Kitten for... How are you doing this to me? Right, put this away. Next I need fine wood. We're off through the portal to the planes or whatever it is. That spinny wheel's just doing big stunts with the flax. The midstream break is in four minutes, but I'm just going through here. Just to uh, chop a tree expunging it, and I'm not actually going to travel. Can the weather stop? There's no point in it raining in the plains, because the rain doesn't fall in the plain unless you're on one of them new sea forts. It's been a big bum beach and it's working. I just told the rain to stop and it stopped. That's what power Stubble's got over the the wild. Do you get fine wood from the stumps? No. Brilliant. I need 40 fine wood and then I can make myself... Let's have this new shit before the midstream break. I just need 40 fine wood. But what about the rains down in Africa? Bless them. Do a day where we just do sea fortresses and shrines. Go big on them commendations for the nearly pirate legends. I think uh, Mina as 50% of the pirate legend needers among us. No, no, where's me Paul? Chicky Gigglers, Chicky Gigglers, no. I can't fight them now, I've not got good enough goods. Is there an elite among them? No, is there only two of them? I don't want that elite from earlier to come back because that guy was a nasty bastard. Chicky Gigglers is so perfect. Um, yeah, sorry, Mina as half of the thing was good. Was uh, she's got like, or she was mentioning? I don't know what her actual plan is, but she hinted at like once Pirate Legends done, then moving on to doing the Tall Tales, and then once the Tall Tales are done, then move on to doing the Shrines as like big. So whether or not we was maybe doing the Spanish forts, but Kitten's got like a level or a level and a half of merchants, and then it's just they're the they they both just need order of stuff. The spear looks like a flint spear. Imagine how much damage they could do if they had real weapons. I don't like to think of chicken gigglers hitting for harder than they already do. Thinking the same, yeah. So get Pirate Legend out of the way, then start working on the next big thing. No! Don't fall into the sea! Thank you. I wouldn't mind sitting in with you two doing the Tall Tales, just so I can be extremely quiet and not help, but just watch the Tall Tales from a third... Uh, vicariously. That's a big camp of Chicky Gigglers over there. If they're here, ca catch wind of me, I'm dead. No. That's a lot of them. How many have I just pulled? Loads. These are night stalking Chicky Gigglers. The worst kind. This guy's set me on fire. I might die yet. Stubble run. It's not worth it. Save yourself. Oh, crapping bollocks. What have I got in my pockets? What has he got in his pocket? No. You have such a soothing voice, Mr. Streamer. I took a nap. I am not streaming. Chicky giggle. I feel like that fucking... The buff popping should have its should come with eye frames. Whoa! Instead of the opposite, where you you stand and do a stupid animation where you can get your head kicked in while the buff is popping. I'm dead. I should be dead. Jesus! Oh. 
How am I not dead? Dead now. Oh. Well done, Stubble. Cheeky, thank you for the bit. <laughs> I might ride along. I'm thinking, Scotty, the best thing to do is probably let both of them just do it. Is to not have anybody riding along with them and let them both enjoy it without people that have already done it breathing down their necks. You know what I mean? There goes half your farm. I think I was a swinging crop to death in amongst all that. As much as I'd like to, I think the best thing, even if they would like to have us along, is to let him either do it solo or between the two of them. Or if you haven't done them, that as well. The rain literally saved you. It prevented you from staying on fire. It maybe did, actually, while we're talking about the rains in the plains. And I still came back without enough fine wood. Fuck. You would assume I for it. Exactly, Gwynglade, right? But no, you can get killed while you pop in the buff. Every time you try, you always get sunk. It's a it's it's a it's a shithead move sinking tall tailors, right? It's like it's not just a like a funny joke among the community. It is a proper dickhead thing to do. I like in that game how there is honor rules that the good people stick to, but there's always bad people, right? Buff is a tactical decision. You can't just panic smash it. True, 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 true. I think that's probably why we were keen to see you would expect it to do it, not it should have it. <laughs> not with that attitude. <laughs> I'll that. I'll damn well try. Right, my buff. Oh god, my buff food's about to run out. Oh shit. Oh, you'd absolutely be able to handle it, yeah. But as long as you all talk about the decisions you're making, because one of the issues with doing stuff like that as a group is you ruin what is a very good sort of narrative and puzzle-solving experience by one person doing all the work and not communicating it to the other, and they're just getting dragged along. Which is why I think if I was to... If I was to come along with you all, I would just guard the ship while you all did the work. But then even then, like, it's because I know very well the feeling of trying to work something out at your own pace while people who know the answers are watching. You talk about, people say streaming must be easy, imagine that. So I wouldn't want to sit on the ship knowing what to do and letting everybody else feel like they're taking too long or whatever or that extra pressure. Right, it's just like, holy fuck. Size of this? Is this ship too big for dearest Stubble to sw to sail on? Is look at the size of this? Fucking hell! Right, let me build a crafting table real quick. Actually, I can repair this. It's there we go. Yeah, just to, just to keep the ship safe while you wait. What? Oh, it's a cart. That's why I clicked the wrong thing. Boys and girls. It's a brick. It's really brick. Look at the size of it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, that is where I'm going to have a midstream break. I apologise for going slightly long, but I'm going to take my very good food, because we're off to smash a cheeky giggler or two. How about that? You build stuff on it. You'd think so, with a deck that size, right? Right, we're off to raid Camp Swish. Which one was Camp Swish? I think it's one of these. Uh, Camp Piss, Bum, Beef... Where's Swish? Where's Camp Swish? Where the fuck is Camp Swish? I can't remember. Is Camp Swish over here somewhere? Yes, there. Alright. So we're going to go to Camp Binge, but we're going to sail there in our new ship. We're going to go. 
up to here. There's a camp portal at Binge. Then Swish and then Roger that. I'll park it like here somewhere. Because that's Meadows. Is it Meadows or Black Forest? That's Meadows regardless. And then we're going to go use this portal to go back and forth and raid Camp Swish. How about that? But for now... Midstream break in the hot tub. Can you tie up the chicky gigglers and put them in the hold of the longship and make them row? And then kill them when they get back to base and take their uh, black metal. Because we are farming now the location of the fifth boss and enough black metal to kill it. But first, uh, we're having a fully clothed hot tub because Stubble needs to wash his armour. Boys and girls, I shall be right back. Hopefully I don't die again on the midstream break because that's become quite a regular occurrence. So, Sothan, you're in charge. Got a deer down to one elf and another bastard swimming out to sea. <laughs> Sothan, get that deer. Look at the longship in the background. Sothan, you're in charge. I'll be back in two minutes. <gasps>
Fucking trims here as well. Boys and girls. So, fan, thank you for keeping Stubble safe during the midstream break. Can I ask people in here that are in long-term relationships? I have a problem with mine. And I'm coming to my friends for advice. Does your significant other, when you go for a wee wee, do they chase you into the bathroom and, like, push you and prod you around and try and put you off and, like, poke at you and kick you and... Just and then just laugh when it all goes. I think I've got a problem in my relationship. She thinks it's fucking hilarious to just push me around and here I am trying to just do my business. There's that boundary. I guess it's in I mean, in reality we have zero boundaries in any of that kind of thing, like zero. So she thinks it's fucking hilarious. He knows better than to touch the door. I guess we just don't lock the doors. Do you do it as well, Scotty? <laughs> I guess I do it in the other direction as well. But fucking hell, here I... The trouble is, is I've got a bad back, right? As we all know. So I'm stood there, like, rigid. And I can't, it's not like I can turn around and fight back or anything. And I'm like, ah, ah, like that. What an asshole. It's okay to be in the bathroom, but if you're going to throw off the aim, then you get to clean it up. Yeah, that should be the boundary, right? Fucking hell. I kind of respect her for it, honest. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do to the significant other. You're just trying to push you towards the pot instead of the <laughs> Fuck. They don't lock the door or anything, but he knows if I go for it. Oh, I, yeah, I, okay. If there's a number two, then that's a boundary. But that's probably only because it's disgusting to go anywhere near. I guess I appreciate the challenge mode, though. How else are you going to get better at it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trim, welcome to the stream. Welcome back to the stream, boys and girls. First job, what is in this can? My eldest woke up in the middle of the night recently to go to the loo and sat on the edge of the bed. <laughs> but for wees, he doesn't bother me and I don't close the door either. Yeah, but she, work so she works from home, right? And upstairs, like, you have to walk through our like big open plan bedroom to get to the bathroom I say big big for us open plan bedroom to get to the bathroom so I have to walk past where she's working on her desk so she if she's not on a call she'll stand up and just do anything possible to irritate me or to cause a problem or to make a good job my I, good job I could hit my hot so there'd be a hell of a mess in there Right, let me go put this junk food away and I'll get my good food out and we're off to go and smash some cheeky gigglers. Sorty says ginger beer, Alcarion says diet coke, Sothan says cloudy lemonade, Cheeky says cream soda, Expungenate says diet coke, Kitten says ginger beer. He'll he, he be with the door up and talk to me. I, I know some, or I know of somebody that is, I think, married about five years and he. Even if they go, even if they go in a hotel, he's still gun shy about that kind of thing. That he will go to the lobby to do a number two because he doesn't want her to smell it. And apparently, in the house, he has his own bit where he goes and does that because he's what? A sponge that says diet coke. Satan says fizzy orange. Jamie says cloudy lemonade. Chaz says beans. Your brother in law, I guess it's shy bladder, right? Something like that, and you can't really help that, can you? There's no Kegel exercises for that, let's be honest. I need four. Have I run out of obsidian? I might have to delay the cheeky giggler fights to go and get some obsidian. Fuck. A very private person, even to his wife. Huh. I wonder where that comes from. My ex and I used to smoke in our bathroom and bedrooms only, so when I would go for a poo, he would literally come in and sit down next to me because if I can't poo unless the condition... Because of that, I can't poo unless the conditions are perfect. <laughs> Not in public. As in public public. Do you know what? I? There's a lot of people that don't like to do, to do it literally in a, like, a public place, like in a shop or something, right? But I seem to like 
thin more than normal ones. I don't know why. Right, I've taken the big the big guns out with me as far as food's concerned now. Where did I put I had the ice cream, didn't I? Let me take that out of there. I put that in the wrong chest. Like when we're out shopping and we've been been out for ages, I just think, "Well, I'm off to go and treat myself." You don't you don't use public ones, no? I'm not saying they're clean. They are. They're, uh, as a rule, it's not the most en uh, enjoyable experience. But if you could get it set up in a way that you like, all of a sudden it's it's a break. It's like your own little private break while you're out. His inheritance, his parents are exactly the same. Very private, conservative people who wouldn't even talk about it. Huh. I can't imagine that. Maybe, it's just a, I'm just a degenerate, but I think I can do it in front of anyone and not be bothered by it. Like, uh, what's he called in Jackass? Dave England. Serious eye contact is distracting, but I can manage. I mostly don't know how I look hunched over, concentrated, shaking. <laughs> right, boys and girls, the answer was a ginger beer, which means Scotty on the nail. On the nail, on the hip, nip, nip, well played. Kitten, well played as well. Beautiful. I would rather pop a squat over, uh, out back in the grass than wee in a public bathroom. Huh. God, we're strange creatures as a rule, aren't we? I must admit that I used to like doing it at work in the woods or something like that. Free range, we called it. Right, I just need to grab, go up the hill and grab some obsidian, then I'm coming back and we're going there, Chicky Giggler smashing. It's confined sp Oh, I guess that's a different issue, right? Well, that makes sense. I have a conversation with her while I'm taking a dump. She hates it, but I just find it funny. What could do with some wolf meat while I'm here? I'm, since I've got organised in this game, I kind of don't want it to finish all of a sudden. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that damaged my health then. There's the block. Look at that. The wolves are still no joke if I ain't ready. Don't worry, Stubber, I'll take a shit. I'll take a shit on Siddles' pillow at download just for you. A pillow at the festival instead of your bag? Jesus, you people. Siddles over here. Lap of luxury. What a glamper. Not the filth I worry about being seen as a sort of like small star. Oh, that'll do it then, yeah. I have guilt sometimes about using the handicap stall, but I have to climb on the seat to close the door in some of the regular ones. Climb on the seat to close the door? Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, I think I think the rule with like the disabled toilets is you should always stay away from them, frankly. You should leave it for just in case somebody needs it, but sometimes you are so unbelievably desperate you're willing to have that conversation when you get out. Towns does that. What the fuck is that all about? What, talking on the... It's kind of a... It's kind of a thing you should be jealous about, really, because it's it means that people are so unbelievably comfortable. Like, it's kind of a good thing, really, right? To be that free. You ever walk in, try and close the door and wonder, huh, why is my body in the way? <laughs> ah, what if, so we've done the strange... To it, Gamut of conversations today. Cooing in public is the current one, everybody. Well, the Doom House. Oh, I was farming here earlier today. This is where I had to fight that stone gun. Oh, I was telling Razor earlier. I discovered this morning while doing boring farming in this game, so I could, sub so I didn't have to subject you tosses to it. I discovered that the best way to kill stone golems is to use your pickaxe on them because they're made of stone. Like I never considered it before, but. You do actually quite a substantial amount of damage compared to everything else. And it's obvious, I appreciate it's obvious, but it's still cool. Yeah, no, I don't think I could do a number two. And it's not just because it's it's a level of um, companionship or something with the partner that I need to get to. I just Is there anything more satisfying than locking yourself in that room? And... Do you know what I mean? 
looking after an important bit of human maintenance, we'll say. It's designed to feel rewarding, right? Because as humans, if it didn't, we wouldn't do it. <gasps> Suthan finally has his own house set up. Suthan's Viking, Suthan. It's really weird for me now. I don't enjoy it at all. I had a feeling you'd say that, kid. <laughs> Suthan! Be careful for raids, it's true. Right, 53 obsidian, that should do. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I just needed some arrows and we've got them now, so let's go. I get in, do my poo and get the fuck out. As quick and most streamlined as possible. Sooth and boil, Scotty, is actually really good and I'm very angry at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well played. Right, I'll get a few more obsidian deposits while I go back down the hill. Then we're going to go and chop some chicky gigglers. I used to, but after a decade of uncomfortable company, I just can't enjoy it anymore. <laughs> Maybe one day you will learn to love the process again, kitten. Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon still act. I don't feel like I hear that name anymore. She's probably 88 or something. Like we discovered earlier that Brad Pitt's 56, no, 58. Now that I've been on fibre supplements, I'm in learning to <laughs> enjoy it again. Press 1 if you'd like regular uh, regular updates on how Kitten is doing regarding enjoying pooing again. <laughs> Kitten, you better keep us informed. We're all 88 at hearts, that's true. <laughs> Kitten's journey. I'll get there with the right support network. <laughs> For fuck's sake, that's dumb. What was that? Maybe some people don't feel comfortable discussing private matters in the group. For <laughs> fuck's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Kitten. She's got films in pre and post production, Susan Sarandon. Not Kitten, not Kitten's poo. Susan Sarandon over here, smashing it quietly. Respect. Right. I apologise for the delay. We are now going to smash some chicken gigglers in the planes because I need black metal. Joke's on you. I have films in pre and post production and they're about my poo. Glad the poops were finally picked up. You should have seen the pitch meeting, Satan. Jesus. Uncomfortable around you all. We need the boundaries to blur back together so we can all be comfortable talking about our own bullshit. The Doom House is healing. Poop talk is always entertaining. You should start a YouTube channel, Kit, and catalogue your journey from uh, disliking to liking. Posted a link of my house in Discord, looking quite alright. Everybody go over to Discord and see a picture of Suthan's new base. That's a cat, Suthan. You can't fool me. Whoa, Suthan, look at that. It's actually, that's quite a good house. I don't like the idea that you look like you're creeping up on your own property, Suthan. Suthan's spying on himself. <laughs> Suthan. What a god. Right, what have I got? Obsidian? I can teleport with obsidian. Lovely, lovely, Suthan. I don't want the house to find me. Could I technically open Steam, click Sothan's name and join on him? I've probably not got it set to friends can join him, right? How the fuck would I do a vlog about that, Jenny? Listen, Kitten, I'm just the ideas man. It's up to you to put this idea onto fucking paper. Uh, Obsidian Arrows, let's go. That wasn't me saying let's go as in that thing that streamers seem to say nowadays. That was me saying let's go as in let's start it. 
a log vlog. This is worse than when whoever it was said they'd been banished. Spanish banished in Sea of Thieves. Right, obsidian arrows, make me loads of them, please. 59. 79. 99. Lovely. Right, now we can go. How many cheeky gigglers would you like me to destroy when I get out there? By the way, my spell check has stopped working, so if I misspell something... Can you imagine a log enthusiast finding that? By the way, my spell check has stopped working, so if I misspell something, no, I didn't. Here's a question, right? As somebody that actively chooses not to use spell check or auto capitalization or auto punctuation or anything because I'm scared of my grasp of the English language failing me, should you capitalize, like you do days of the week, should you capitalize seasons? If I was to say, it is springtime. Should the spring in that sentence have a capital? You say yes, kitten, yeah? Tag Slack like Welcome to the Stream says no. But you capitalise Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? You capitalise January, February, March, April. But you don't categorise spring, summer, autumn, winter. Has anybody got it? If, if you don't do it, spring, yes, springtime, no. Oh, so what Lundio said, so if I'm saying it is beautiful this spring, that deserves a capital. But if I'm saying springtime or uh, spring fruit or spring crop or spring weather, I don't. But if I'm saying this spring, no, because then that's spring onion. <laughs> Lundio's welcome to the stream. Tags like welcome to the stream. No, they're not proper nouns, but only if you're using it as a proper noun. Hmm, spring chicken. <laughs> Unless that's somebody's name expunged there, that shouldn't have a fucking capital. I am com I'm a bit flustered, boys and girls. I apologise for running around in circles. Let me go get the good food and we can go to the plains and I can get chopping. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Right, uh, take three out. I want two of each. I'm getting good shit done today, but I've just been a bit flustered. Good. Right, we should be ready to go. If you can play them in Scrabble or on Countdown, then they don't have capitals. So you could technically... I guess there's two usages, which I guess is what everybody's saying, right? Right, I need to go through the... Is it the Slubberdeg portal that I'm going through? No, it's the it's the other one that Chaz named that I won't mention. Oh. Just type in all caps and it doesn't matter. It's not Caps Friday yet. Example they use for when it's a proper noun. Summer Olymp So I guess if it's attached to a proper noun, yeah. So spring onion. No. Yeah, but spring onion doesn't deserve a. I don't know. Right, I wasn't supposed to come through that portal. We're going on a boat ride. I'm so flustered. Type in title case to really piss people off. Just let's have everything is underscored Thursday, tomorrow. There's a catchy title for you. What day is it? It's Wednesday, right? The fucking guild switching up raid days has confused my todger off. Right, let's waste all our food and go on a big bum boat ride. Check out my new boat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, stupid. Look at the size of this. I've crashed it. I've pranked it. That'll be alright. Holy speed. The speed on this thing is amazing! Oh, the wind in Stubel's hair. We're going on a journey. Right, I'm taking the ship over to... Because you can't teleport with heavy metal. So I'm taking the ship over to around this area. Ah, yes. Finally proper sailing. The old uh, iron nails is issue, uh, Riz. I fucked up every syllable of that sentence. Snake case, there's the camel case for everything. What are these? Took us a year, but we're finally here. I've become so comfortable streaming Valheim. Because sometimes when a game requires a lot of you, then, it, like, 
that up, but Valheim, I'm just, I'm just really, really enjoying it. I want them to add styling to the launch. Yeah, imagine if you could have a green and orange sails. That'd look fucking disgusting. Here's the thing: the, you could you can change you could change the style on the shield, and I pl picked black and orange. I wonder if you can do it for armor sets. Don't confirm or deny if you can. But imagine if I could make if I could choose the color of the armor I was wearing. Holy fucking! This thing is so fast. There's mods to pick a PNG for your sale. That never went wrong, did it, Sothan? Being able to pick images to go in games. It's not like my summer car accidentally started a fucking trend that has pervaded since. <laughs> so if you're wondering, by the way, Sothan's uh, the sub to the Sothan thing came along because there was a on my summer car on the wall of the bedroom there is a poster for a band. Um, and it was like some. F it was a finished word. I'm assuming it was a poster for a band because it looked like a cheeky can confirm or deny. But I replaced the PNG, and the words of it was sub to the Sothan or what his account used to be called. And for some reason, that seems to have stuck. Now oh, that Scumface poster was top, yeah. I put a poster of Slops' band Scumface on the wall and I used to give it the middle finger every time I went past it. Ooh, and the, let's not talk about the third one, Scotty. Scotty the Maniac, by the way, came in... This My Summer Car playthrough was in 2019, like, sort of summer 2019. Summer with a capital lowercase. Scotty actually went back, because he joined in 2020. Scotty went back and watched the whole playthrough through on YouTube. Or most of it, whatever's still there, because there was a lot of DMCA music in it, because it was before that issue. Is anybody else worried about Scotty? The third one was Greg from Minecraft, Scotty. The dog that died. Imagine actively watching more Doomhouse content that is, in, that is available. Than is available. And he watched all of Jalopy. What made you do that, Scotty, out of interest? Right, we're going against the wind for a little while, but that's fine. Insanity. That might be what made it, yeah. Masochism. I've actually watched your original outro. Did you actually watch it all the way through, Razor? It was sad. Why was it slow and took ages? Yeah, you said you were going to do that. I forgot you mentioned that when we've, we've not met each other very often, very long. There's been a lot of talk of my summer car and jalopy over the last two years. Yeah, as you can see by Jamie's response. They were actually really good. Jalopy was like, it looked like a shit throwaway game that I got a free key or something. I think Cheeky's Discord alerted me to jalopy being free on a sale one time. I hated that game, but loved it at the same time. It was a pretty good playthrough. Jamie, you've been in this community about two weeks as well when Jalopy started, right? Because it was around that time. Early 2019. We was in, was in Sea of Thieves a couple of weeks ago. We, we mentioned what order some playthroughs were in or something. And I, I remember Eric was in the discussion. I can't remember who else was. But... I went through almost all of the playthroughs and listed somebody we met that we still talk to that, to this day in almost every playthrough. Twitch is pretty fucking interesting, right? I must admit. There was somebody peeping in almost in one of almost every one of those playthroughs. It was just after the yeah, end, Jamie, you was the Fable playthrough. Still have my Outer Wilds addiction. Don't feel flattered. That's another thing we were saying earlier in, the, in our lunchtime fishing session. Um, it's strange to think that the Doom House, which is a community that is full of people that are dickheads to one another and behave like dickheads and say dickhead things. And Raze is a massive dickhead, and we've got to know him as the dickhead he is and stuff. But Razor found us, and we found Razor in the Outer Wilds section of Twitch. 
like this really positive and wholesome and heartfelt and, and honest thing. It feels so strange to think we met Razor of all people in that. What a dickhead he is. That Fable playthrough is fucking... Shout out to Polly. It's weird to think where we come across a lot of people. Let's go through this list right now. Lundios, that was at the top, was uh, Subnautica. Satan was a friend of Slops's. Expungenate was Valheim. Tagslack was a friend of... Satan's was a friend of Slops's. Razor was... Um, the Outer Wilds. Sothan was WoW. Scotty was... Subnautica. Kitten was... Uh, We've been paid for the government to keep an eye on her because they can't really afford to, you know what I mean? Shout to chicken, I know, right? Pie face. Remember the 50 pie challenge, Jimmy? <laughs> oh dear, don't let slops dictate your stream content. Ah, space as well, yeah. Pie master. Two months and four weeks. What? <laughs> I really liked was coming. We was playing Skyrim, and Alkirion did follow age, and it was like nine months ago he followed, and he followed during Skyrim. <laughs> Fucking Skyrim! That playthrough was massive. Saying that, it was 110 streams with Skyrim, and this is already at about 58 or something. But it doesn't feel like we've been playing this nearly as long. Moobot doesn't do it too often, so it'll whisper you otherwise. Scotty's been following this. Look at that look. Scotty has been following this stream for two years and one hour. Scotty, congratulations on your two years of following the fucking Doom House. Any regrets? No way the two years passed an hour ago. Tons of regrets, he says. That's actually mad that we managed to find that. I'll carry on one year and seven months. What does yours, Razor? You was like September, right? Or November. This boat ride's actually taking it out of me. But we're going to get there shortly. If I had the wind, it would be more fun. I thought it was from 15th of April that I followed, because that's when you started some night. I guess you could... You could match it up based on... You, we must maybe play in a little... For, playing for five days. Also, there's three days gap for weekends as well. Busy Friday and weekends. Serial lurker when I first stumbled across this shit. So, what? This is the first Twitch channel you've actually openly spoken. I'm still yet to do that. I'm not a presence in any Twitch channel I watch. Sometimes in Twitch channels of my friends, like sometimes I'll pipe up in. So I watch a lot of cheeky and I watch a lot of slops and people that stream during the day. But I, I don't know, I, don't like, I, I guess I don't use the internet enough to be able to be confident enough to speak. I respect all of you a lot that do. But I have to be really good friends to dare speak for some reason. It's like the, it's like the thing I appreciate the most about Twitch is the ability to to have people like you guys that are that are communicative and fun and mess about and are like mine that are similar to me in a lot of ways. Whereas I am the opposite when I actually engage in streams. Capitalise anything you want uh, do it for the emphasis. Rules are for priggish books. <laughs> I appreciate the attempted voice recognition mind right. Mind right, welcome to the stream. Good morning. Yeah, but I I turn auto capitalism capitalization and auto punks away. I turn off everything. My keyboard is just a normal keyboard on my phone um, because I want because I always felt like I had a good grasp of the human 
of the English language, and I didn't want that to fail like my mathematics skills failed when I just used the calculator on my phone. Therefore, I keep running into issues like this where I aren't quite sure. And I always try and type in Discord with full... Like, I can't bear to type a message that isn't all capitalised properly and stuff. So I like to try and be right, but... Confuse myself sometimes. There's a league streamer that I've been following for nine years. I don't think I've ever spoken in a stream shit. Capitalise to emphasise a lot of things. I want you to hear my voice when you read my words. I see what he means now. He's not used the internet enough to be confident speaking. That's kind of true, actually. I don't... Other than... Other than in the Doom House, I don't actually ever post or write anything on the internet anywhere. Other, like, unless I'm speaking in somebody else's. Like, sometimes on Box's channel or something, if a question's been asked or whatever, I don't know. Once in a while. But I don't have anywhere on the internet, anywhere where I post. Because I just don't think I've spent enough time having a personality on the internet, therefore... Which is weird as I'm sat here right now, right? But I don't know what I think. I, I don't know what I think I'm doing here. Like, it's probably, a I, I guess it's probably easy to tell, but I don't really know what a Twitch stream is supposed to be, and I still don't. Bye, mate, welcome to the stream. I only started speaking in here because of Mina. If she hadn't pushed me, I wouldn't have kept speaking. And it's only because of bridge games, right? Which is upcoming very shortly, and by it's going to fucking abuse me. But guess what? I'm going to be I'm going to be the engineer of the century of the day. Every Friday for the next few months, he's going to be fucking stubborn because Kitten voted in the Discord for us to complete the entire game under budget. Stupid Kitten. I want you to say you were my second stream. I started watching in September 2020, and it's been all downhill. I was the second stream you started watching. Woof. And it's been downhill. Yes, exactly. I can fully, I can fully understand that. <laughs> Wait, no. It's been all downhill from there. Means that the Doom House was on a, on a, on a, uh, is still on a pedestal, and everything else has been not as good. Oh. Both playing Skyrim. She was a blonde. You. <laughs> I mean, I'm technically a blonde. Look, it's actually not blonde anymore, but you were—I did agree, actually. Sorry, I just got my hair out on stream. Never again. God, I was going. Both of us were like white haired when we were kids. You're only active for a few Doomhouse. What for a few games? You mean, baby? Yeah. Wait, you're not bald? What the fuck? Oh, sorry, yeah, no, I'm, I'm completely bald, everybody. I have zero hair. This hat is to hide my insecurities. Sarokin. <laughs> yes. Oh, fucking made me out uncomfortable now, you bastard. Fuck. I pulled... Oh. I'm going to crash my boat now. Right, we have the long... This is a long ship. So, I need to mark this area as... Ship. Did I unmark where the ship was last time? No. Good. Now, we go to Camp Swish and chop some bastards. How about that? No, I'm only talking when I watch people... For oh, I see. I'm only active in Doomhouse streams. I see, I see, I see. So, like... Yeah, certain people that are connected to the... I'm with you, by being. Yeah. Wait. I need to kill gulls while I'm crossing this. So, I'm, I'm, my goal is to kill Chicky Gigglers and get as much black metal as possible. I was punching dudes on your behalf for what, then? You, was, you punched... You punch people on behalf of bald people. God, Rizzy, you're a hero. Have I ever told you that? Nice ship. Is everything bigger on it? Yes, including the fuel costs. They are prohibitive at the moment. 
Right, I do have a teleporter over here at Camp Slubberdeg or whatever that one. No, what is that? So then, can you remember where that Slubberdeg portal goes to? I don't go through it. Alopecia kills men. It's serious. So punching people is the only way to cure it. I can't remember so then. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I just to finish on that conversation we were having before, I think I'm actually I, I'm a bit self conscious because I very I don't really understand what streams are. Like I watch obviously I watch a lot of uh, cheeky and slops that play during like in the morning when I've got something I, I need something to do on the second screen. Um the fuck is this? What? And I know what they do. But I don't really know what streaming is. Like, it's like the shape of a big fish. Or am I seeing things? Imagine if the ship ran on fine wood. <laughs> There's a little internal combustion engine. Don't click the link, everybody, or do anything that thing says. And definitely don't click the account. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I sometimes feel a bit self conscious that I'm not behaving like most streamers do. But I don't know what most streamers do. I might just be doing it. Like, I don't, the only the only stream that is not out that is outside of the Doom House circle that I watch a lot of is that Sea of Thieves stream you've heard us talk about a million times called Boxy. And what he does is so fucking impressive that it kind of like it makes me think, Jesus, is that what streaming actually is? But I think he might be unique in that. Everyone go to mystream.store. You interact with chat, you give entertainment to the masses, or a few of us at least. I guess that, yeah, I guess it, I, there probably isn't a rule book, right? But sometimes when you aren't confident in something, you feel like there's probably gaps in your knowledge that are very easy to see for somebody with more experience. But I guess I, I'm so unfamiliar with how all this works, even after doing it for seven years. All I know is how we do it. If all streamers were the same, that would be boring. Unique and different is what is attractive. True, 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 true. Same with anything, right? I think it's maybe a, a sort of self-conscious like worry that... So there's my portal. So what I need to do now is I need to go south to Camp Swish. It's a bit of a trek, but we'll make it work. Worst followers, zero primes, and absolutely no viewers on Doomhouse. We don't have the domain yet. Buy it, please. Are you saying there's no such thing as doomhousegaming.com? Why don't you try it? And see. It cost me like eight quid a fucking year, that. Can you believe? Swift and I were sweaty enough to, before we started the stream, once we got the name sorted, I, we got a Twitter account, a Gmail account, the domain, the domain and... What else did we get? I can't remember. Something else. We, there was four things we immediately went to do before we'd ever pressed go live or got any viewers or, or whatever. That's how fucking lame we were. But you know what? I'm glad I did. Because Wardog should have bought uh, doomhousegaming.com on day one and linked it to Meatspin and it would still be that right now. Mel's welcome to the stream. How's it going? Just found your first abomination and scared the absolute Jesus out of myself. Yeah, they were nicknamed in this uh, community Clenchadons because of my reaction, so I could understand your fears. I mean, where it does go is basically... Oh, that's true. That's true. I think you'd rather see meat spin, right? I don't know whether it's confidence or security that made Swifter and I do that, but we did. What I should do, if for the sake of content, is say uh, I just said I just said the word content. That's one thing that I hear streamers and fucking content creators talk about doing things for content. Do they say that ironically? Like, is the for content thing ironic, or do people actually aim to do things for the sake of 
filling their time on screen. Fucking ads, I missed what you just said. I was, um... I was saying uh, them enemies, Mel's, have been named Clenchadons in this community based purely on my reaction. So I can... I can I'm right there with you for being scared by first uh, abomination interactions. Interactions, what did they do it for? Easy Green, welcome to the stream. Did I just miss the epic story of how the Doom House got its name? I mean, it's not that epic, frankly. Easy Green, good morning. So they don't always say that ironically. That feels a bit icky, though, does it not? The idea that somebody's only doing something for the sake of hoping that you get into... Is it not fair to say that when somebody's streaming or making stuff on the internet, you kind of want them to want to do it? You don't want them to be just doing it for the sake of filling the allotted time? Or is that... Is that am I being a bit wildly optimistic when I say stuff like that? Do you know how jobs work? No, I don't know how jobs work. Mr. Fucking Saki Mike and the Funky Bun. But you're not... A job is... Like, that's... I guess that's the point. That's my point in a nutshell. If somebody is just doing something because it's their job, as opposed to a, a, a proper passion for it, then does that not take a percentage away from it? For entertainers, entertaining is the job. Well, I guess that's the thing, then. If somebody just sees it as their job as an entertainer, then it kind of... That's maybe my point. If you're just filling content. You know, you just, now you're just hating on prostitution. <laughs> <to stop. laughs> I don't know, it feels like it takes the edge off. It feels like it takes the, the emotion out of it. Or it looks a bit emotionless. I don't know. Cardi, welcome to the stream. I can't believe I, I considered uh, Barley Legal being on the line, and then went with this. Caddy, how are we? A lot of jobs aren't negatively affected by whether or not somebody wants to do the job in question, Expungeonet. How about that? Whereas entertainment often feels like it is, especially when it's personality-based entertainment and not just, I'm going to clear this camp, by the way. I need blackmail. Um, am I off base by suggesting that? I don't know. I don't know whether I'm, I look stupid for saying it. Give me some black metal. Thank you. This is a lot of cheeky gigglers. And one of them might be elite. And it's dark and I can't see the fuckers. But I've got stamina for days because I actually got good food for once. I did, I did parry that, but it didn't make the noise. Right. Just three cheeky gigglers. Whoa. Good. Got him, got him, got him. I may be misunderstanding what people say when they say for content. Tired but not bad. Good shit. Carry up the stream. Different skills affect the quality of job output. For entertainment, passion is more important than other things. That's fair. Yeah, that's maybe what I'm trying to say. You've maybe got you've maybe understood what I'm saying better than I have there. Yeah. If so Put it this way, if somebody doesn't want to stream, you can see it in their eyes, right? Or if they don't want to be making the content they're making, you can see it from a mile away, unless they are very, very, very good at what they do. And if you can see that they don't want to be making it, it it's harder for you to want to watch it, unless it's specifically doing something difficult for a challenge, like talking to Siddles or something like that. Right, let me just have a minute. I don't want to be pulling these big enemies when it's dark. So what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm arriving in these camps because I'm farming black metal because I can now make new and tip-top chopping uh, weapons with black metal. But the weather is seriously affecting my visuals. Can I just one-shot that guy? He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, but I pulled the big bastard. I pulled this little thing as well. I pulled a grade one fueling and the berserker. I need to go. Run, 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 run. 
You obviously have a passion for being a streamer, or you wouldn't put up with all of this. <laughs> you are the prime example of why I keep... Yeah, exactly. That my passion exists, because why the fuck would I talk to you people otherwise? <laughs> well said. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... But I've always felt like maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I guess that's probably a good thing, right? Because it keeps you... You can't be... It keeps you humble, I guess, if you're always nervous about ma making mistakes. I have pulled every cheeky giggler in Christendom. Um, Stubel, fucking run. That's a that's a bad lot of bullshit I've pulled. Fuck. Ah. Don't you laugh at me, you little bitch. What was that? Is that a clencher on I just heard? Okay, this is this is. A the problem. Ah, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. That's a big fire. That's a fucking... That's a... Okay. Two Death Skeeters. I've got no stamina. Don't run into the swamp. Actually, running into the swamp wouldn't be a bad thing. If I can pull an abomination or something... They're fighting something. Something's distracted them. This is good. Right, go into the swamp. Sorry if it's dark, boys and girls. It's dark for me as well. I can't see shit. Right, pack in the swamp for a moment. Hide behind a tree. I'm not in stealth, am I? Not at all. What have I pulled? Fucking rip of all things. Shit off. Go away. Can't have you now. Fuck off. Speaking of mistakes, you pull a whole village. I did, apparently. Yeah, it can be clear when somebody's doing it purely for money and not enjoying it. Yeah, or to keep. Sometimes. I, am I overstepping the mark sometimes when I hear YouTubers say, oh, I had to make this for the algorithm? What? Hello? So that fueling berserker sounds like he was trying to have a poo or something, and someone walked in. I mean, we could relate, though. Right, now I'm in stealth. You know it's Valheim Endgame when you run to a swamp for shelter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just ran to that swamp and sat down as if it was, like, the starting area for some reason. But I think I got the berserker tangled up with something that came down the mountain. Sounds like the Death Skeeter's still in the forest somehow, so I just need to get a visual on him. Yeah, I think they've fought something here and then disconnected from me, which I am all about. Uh, three. I didn't actually kill them. I killed three before that. How are you still alive after what I just dragged into here? Stop running away from me, Gwynblade. I actually need Grey Dwarf Eyes, don't I, for ice cream. I like the amount of stamina I've got, though. <clears throat> this is good. I seem to have, a, a, for me, a fair amount of health and a fair amount of stamina, but every time I unlock a bit of food, now I can um, check in on it. I do need to go out to the Bone Mass camp as well, because there's a, quite a lot of black metal out that way, too. I might do a few big boat rides uh, off-stream. Listen. I don't know what they're fighting, but they're out there fighting something. There goes the Berserker. Watch him. On the right, under the minimap. There he goes. Okay, so they're patrolling back. I wonder if there's a better way of farming black metal. Can't dig it up or anything, right? Uh, I'll keep them. Maybe they're fighting over who gets to nibble your meaty thighs. <laughs> Don't you dare sexualize Stubble. I don't want to go towards them locks, do I? I can hear wolves. Maybe wolves came down and attempted to kill something. Someone died here. What's that? Oh, it's an ancient seed, isn't it? Yeah. 
the nutritional content of thick thighs saves fueling lives. I've heard that. Oh no, not you, please. Ow. Ow. Oh, I walked straight into the planes, pull a locks and pull a fucking chicky giggler. God, Stubble, and now I'm being hunted by wolves. Fuck this, I'm getting out of here. Absolutely fuck all of this. Fucking wolves! I've got black metal in my pockets. Wolves, fight the locks. Locks, fight the wolves. Wolves, beat the locks. Good job, I had bone last buff. I'm going to die to this, aren't I? I can't survive this for too much longer. And they just eat my... I wish the locks would fight the... There's a cheeky giggler as well. I need... Well, that was brutal. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I can't get the stamina back. Okay, I can see inside the locks' brain now, temporarily. Okay, that should disconnect the lock slightly. Right, run into the swamp. Hello, swamp creatures! I'd like to order an abomination! Hello, Drog. Go fight that shit behind me. Don't fight me, you dickhead. Look at the look at all this lot that wants to fight you. That lock's absolutely flattened about six wolves in one go there. Right, where's an abomination when I need one? Drog at me, honestly. Honestly. Pick your fights, dickhead. Who are you? What are you? Drogger Elite. I need you to go there as well. Don't keep chasing me, you soft bastards. How can they hit me and I can't hit them? I can't swing at them. Fuck this game. Right, and it's all about managing stamina at this point. Hello. That might be a waste. Oh, that might be a waste. Right, we're back north. We're going in, back into the uh, meadows. I would do if the game had fucking... And a wraith, because... Fuck me, apparently. We're only missing murder at this point. <laughs> so now what have I got? A Draugr, a Draugr Elite, an Ooze, a Wolf Attack, some Locks, two or three Fueling, a Wraith... Jesus Christ, Swamp, leave me alone, honestly. Yes, Grey Dwarf! Yes, hits the drug Elite right on the sweet. Well played, friend. Now survive for me. Never mind. Pig, help me. If I can take him out into the plains, I can survive this. But it's fair to say, Stubble should have died 15 times by now. World saves in 30s because we're too irresponsible to do that in our 20s. Well, this is a fucking shit show. Hello, all of the swamp. It's nice to meet you, including a fucking Draugr Elite. Hey, Neck, I've got bad news for you. I'm bringing friends. Seriously, I think you pulled everything but the bosses. <laughs> I'm going to get away from it all as well, I've decided. Mate, really? We'll fight on an incline, though, and Valheim's crap on inclines. Leave me alone, Neck. Can I just get up this hill? Yeah, now watch, it'll be a neck that kills me. Right, you guys come this way. The Wraith's going to despawn because it's daylight, right? Wraith should turn around very shortly. Or not, because fuck Stubble, apparently. Right, if I die here, it's fine. The portal's right there. Right, now I just need to walk and regain a bit of stamina. Can I walk away from this swing? Bitch. Wraith, it's daylight. Go away. Thank you. Are you allergic to gratitude? Right, Wraith killed. Can I have your chains, please, friend? Did I already get them? I did. Alright. Right, right, where's everything else? Where's all them draugers and elites and stuff? Am I still being hunted in that area of the map? No, I'm not. Here's a question. I've only ever been hunted when in plains biomes. Is that only a thing that happens in plains? Don't answer that, actually. Sorry. Uh, but that's my theory. 
I very much asked that as if I wanted an answer. I, I shouldn't have. I apologise. But it does feel like you only get hunted when you're in the plains. I don't know whether that's something... If there's a plains next to a uh, thingy by you. I was about to ask if you wanted an answer. Yes slash no slash maybe slash don't know. Fucking I wasted my bone mass buff to survive that shite though. I don't need uh, entrails though anymore for the draugr. We've got that food sorted. Hello. Sorry, did I say I didn't need you? Never mind. Nice to meet you. Again. Let me kill another couple of chicky giggle as well. We're out. We've got 19 minutes to do some damage while we're here. Game hates me today. If I hadn't have got this good food though, I'd have been eviscerated right there. Because I wouldn't have had enough health to survive the attacks and enough stamina to get away. I have upgraded my armour though twice, no, once since. So I'm taking a lot, a, 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 quite a substantial amount less damage. Hello friend. Don't need bar meat anymore, fuck that off. Uh... Yes, because I really want the Grey Dwarf Shaman Trophy. How proud will I be to wear, or to uh, display evidence of me having killed a Grey Dwarf Shaman? What a god Stubble is. Fuck's sake. I do like looking at a big long red health bar, though, don't you? Let me do it for you. Right. 18 minutes. Can I kill one of them um, fueling berserkers in 18 minutes? I just need to be careful not to walk in on this side and to go in the north part of the plains and then walk down because otherwise I'll pull them, uh, pull them locks. And I will ride a locks eventually. What a beautiful morning in the plains. You know what I kind of respect? I respect that the planes are named so, because it makes it feel like they shouldn't be the most difficult biome in the game. The, the, the planes sound and look very safe, but it's a complete bait and switch because fuck the planes. Is that a crow? Yeah, it was. I killed any crows yet. That sound would work well for fart jokes. It does sound like passing gas easy green, you are correct. Uh, I have a song stuck in my head, and as I open my mouth and go, ah, the song in my head, all I hear is toot. It's probably better than the song, though, Kim, let's be honest, right? Right, where am I going? What am I doing? I don't want to creep over this hill and pull the entire camp, but it is very close. Let's see, look. Oh, good. Missed. I see me. Cheeky giggler. Come on then. Did I actually pull a berserker? Black metal, please. Yep, 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 yep. I do wonder if I was to mine in the plains whether there's like blah, 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 black. Hey, tell you what. Wishburn. If there's black metal, um, if there's anything of value to dig up around here, there might be just black metal deposits. And then I don't have to kill Chicky Gigglers. A lot of wolf action going on up there. Right, what is in this camp? Three Chicky Gigglers, one of them an elite, and two. Have they seen me? They can hear me. Maybe before they're fully aggro, they can get right out of the camp before they see me. They are patrolling the look of angered the gods. The chicky giggler gods. That's not the berserker engaged, is it? It's too far away. Unless their aggro tables are tied somewhere. Right, I'm fighting on an incline. So let's get him on a bit more flat ground. I can't wait to have a new axe. I feel like I've been using this iron axe for 200 years. Come on, you. Up here. See, that's three more Chicky Gigglers killed. Or four more. I think it might be four more. This is an elite, though, so I'm going to be careful. 
So much health. That was just a block. Alright, come with me. Come on to here. The fighting's platform. Yes, Jicky Giggler. And then one more. <gasps> I hate how they run around. It drives me insane. But I like it because it's, it's designed that way, right? It's designed so they sort of taunt you and then come in for the attack. They're like PvE Reapers apart from they actually come back to fight instead of just running to the Red Sea. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to fight you, please. No, thank you. But it is on low health. What's it been for? Oh, wolves, I guess. Can I fight it on its own? Press 1 if Stubal dies to this bullshit. Press 2 if he gets a successful kill. That was just a block. That's half my health note. Okay, mind right's going for successful kill. You know what? With Stubel's armor, there's a chance. Parry. Ow, ow, 20 health if I miss this parry. Only mind right saw that coming. Holy shit! How to lose a fight? I missed two parries and got fucking whacked there. Do we do this? Do we do a naked stubble stubble run for this? Do you think Stubble's got it in for a naked stubble? I'm not telling you what time it is. I think we got naked stupid. Twelve minutes remain, boys and girls. Do you know what? I'll carry on Cardi, Razor, I'd have gone team one as well. Alright. Let's see if I can naked naked stubble this. I could have done to have eaten something actually. Just for a bit more stamina for the old running away business. But if I can naked stubble this. Somebody Pulled a load of fucking Draugr up into the meadows, which was foolish. Right, we're going to get our sprint skill up. Let's see if I can... As if I, would, as if I would take a second during the daylight to walk up to the fucking sundial. Not if it meets up with Chonky Giggler. I think Chonky Giggler might have reset back into the camp, but he was literally one shot. But I don't think it was the cheeky, uh, the big giggler that killed the big giggler. Fucking hell. I don't think it was the, uh, I don't think it was the berserker that killed me. I think it was the other cheeky giggler. I think I got speared. Okay, let's see how far I get. This uh, naked stubbles. It's worth trying once, because otherwise I'd have wasted all my time going and getting gear and messing about. But I just need to prove that it can't be done with a naked stubble first. This portal's miles away. But it has to be miles away because it's supposed to function up there as opposed to down here. I might be able to mine some. I'll do that off stream, I think. Hello, dear. I'm just running naked in the woods like you are. Free as a bird. Right, going to the plains early, I said, right? This is where a death skeeto that wasn't there before arrives and pushes my shit in. Or there's some odd cheeky giggler spawns that I didn't anticipate. I like when I'm out and about just getting on with the game because it means that you lot aren't suggesting stupid building products. That project. Chunky giggler, that's an apt description. It is, right? See, I'm nearly, I'm pretty close now, but if I go straight too far to the right, I risk pulling. Um, Wolves, if I stray too far to the left, there might be a rogue death skeeto that I haven't accounted for. Locks! Locks, locks, locks. Okay, move away from the locks. What kills me here? It's got to be a death skeeto, right? 
If I play this wisely, I've not got that far to go. I've got no food though, have I? I've just realised. I've swallowed all of my last food. Which means I've got zero sta- Oh, fuck. I've got my gear back at least. But because I ate the last of my food on that last attempt, I've got nothing to eat now. Kinda bad. Kinda really bad. I've got mushrooms. And some deer. I can't go fighting with food like that, can I? Or can I? Fifteen health and fifteen stamina. This is dire, all of a sudden. And he's laughing at me. Press one to just try and take a pop shot and then run away if I end up pulling the chunky giggler that's one shot. Yeah, I've got to do it, right? Despite having no food, it's worth a death to one shot him, then I don't have to fight him tomorrow. Which one is he? Is he that one? I missed. It went straight through him. Fuck this. I missed again. It went straight through him. Fuck this. Dead. Dead. Do they have any cooking implements or something? I, I could, if I could do with a cooking fire, so I can knock up these deer meat and I could eat that. But I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? Unless I wait. How much wood can I get? I need to cook. I guess the job now, seeing as I've only got eight minutes of the stream remaining, is to get home. I believe in the power of mushrooms. Let's see if I can get this meat cooked. So I'm going to need to make a crafting table. I'm going to have to make a fire. I need more stones. Fuck. I can do that. I can do this. I should eat the goblins. That's what we always did in D&D. D&D &D. D &D is just an exploration of what you can eat, right? What the DM will let you eat. And then... Yes, 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 yeah, 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 we're having deer now. Lovely. And then I'll nip and get some pork, and then that might be just enough food for me to survive the journey back. But the magic ones, freaky gigglers. Yeah, but freaky's one of them words that people that aren't very interesting use to describe themselves, right? Gotta stay away from that word. Mm -mm. Mm. No! The meat, you twat. Right. Run, 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 run. Ow. Okay, this guy's going to kill me. Go north, go north, Doodle. Flee north. Escape the bastard. Oh, fight him and be brave. Don't fight that. Don't fight that. Don't fight that. I killed him, but I, I'm not fighting that lots. Keep, 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 keep stamina, keep stamina, keep stamina, keep stamina, keep stamina, keep stamina, keep stamina. I've got 12 health. One mistake and I'm getting my head kicked in by this thing. Wolf meat. If I could get back to that fire, I'd have enough... Shit. No, because wolf meat's too strong. No, because you can cook it on a cat. Oh. What word do the interesting people use to do? The interesting people don't talk about themselves, right? Which is what makes him interesting. Goblin jerky. It's great until you get food poisoning from eating a lich. <laughs> That's just a good DM, that. Fuck you for eating everything. I'm going to hurt you. Right, are we good? Fucking hell. Why did I die on Camp Swish? I've still got to clear out Camp Swish tomorrow. How much? I got 10 black metal. That's not bad, actually. Because I don't... 10 black metal might make me one of the armor pieces, right? Or is it 20 I need? I can live with that, but I still need to raid the camp. And then I, I could do to take a... But I might have some black metal ready for tomorrow's stream, if I play off stream, probably tomorrow morning. Okay. I've got the bone mass buff as well very shortly, so that should mean that in the next five minutes I can make it home safely. 
good. Jesus Christ, it's going to be difficult to get the black metal that I need. But if I'm, if I play it wisely, I should be able to collect all of the black metal that I've had historically. And maybe be, get all what I need this week. It just annoys me that I went to, to went to the um, went to the mountain, went to Siddle's Peak, one or two mornings of this week, and went and got a load of silver. And fought all sorts of bullshit, including stone golems and that kind of thing. To get the silver to upgrade my armor, and now I'm replacing it. Not even a single sniff of it, mind right, no. I, yesterday, searched an enormous... This fucking biome over here, near where we killed Bone Mass. Where is it? Heal up. That's where Bone Mass died. I searched all of this entire plains. This is a mount. And, um... I don't, all I found was a uh, was a one of the red stones, and it said that there are crypts deep below or something. Dig deep to find them. That's all I found so far, and I've tried digging around, but I don't know where or what. So I think there might be something underground. Or, I don't know. I'll keep exploring the plains. There must be something somewhere. But I'm looking for one of them red stones that'll give me the boss's direction. But the red stones are slightly smaller, right, than the others. <sighs> okay, right, we're back. We're fine, we're safe, we're good. What's this stuff? Wolf parts, right, and a bit of boar meat. Uh, boar flesh. So now, if I put the that in there, I've now got 17 that I can bring back. That's pretty good. And we'll go back through. Black, yeah, gonna go to Black Reach. Fucking hell. If there was one enormous underground cavern, I'm dropping frames all of a sudden. Did everybody else see that? Hello? Can you see me alright? I've just apparently started dropping frames. That is not stopping anytime soon. Bear with me. Can anybody hear me? One second, one second. Is that better? You got me? There we go. Very low bit rate and buffering, getting tons of buffering. Can hear you. You got me? Yeah, you got me now. It should be very smooth. It should have fixed itself. Yeah? Chris Man, welcome to the stream. I wrote in the chat above that I'm dropping frames if everybody's struggling to load. I guess I'll have to write it like really big just so everybody can see. Sorry boys and girls, that was a it was a, a bit of a mix up upstairs with the internet. It should clear up very shortly. I tell you what, all right, because everybody seems to be struggling to refresh. There you go. Everybody, give it a quick refresh. Chris, man, welcome to the stream. I love you. How are we? Right. Uh, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that it, the last three minutes of the stream. Let me go and put my gubs away. It's like watching a third world country streamer on election night. <laughs> right. Uh, apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Let me sort my uh, stuff out. Let me in, please. Thank you. Causing you grief. Yes, she's... Uh, so she edits little part, like certain bits of video and stuff for work. And she tethers to her phone to upload it. Therefore, sometimes she, if the, she forgets to tether, it just obliterates our internet. So she just forgot to tether. So I get to blame it on her. It feels very good. Right, ingredients, ingredients. That goes in there, that goes in there. They also go in there. We'll get rid of the Draga Trophy. Who the fuck wants a Draga Trophy? That goes in the other room. That goes in the other room. That goes in the other room as well as all of that. I've got loads of resin from somewhere. We'll put that over here. Actually, no, I keep that on me, don't I? Stone I keep on me. That goes there. Feathers there. That goes there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And that, and that, and that. Ancient seed in there. Roger that. 
Nope, not in there. In there. And just like that, we're done. Christmas, are you streaming and watching this nonsense at the same time? Are you live, Chris Man, my love? I'm here for Marvels and the recap. Chris Man, my love, is live. Doing work and ruining your fun. How rude. I know, right? Right, I'll sort that out tomorrow, boys and girls. I'm already slightly over. What did you miss today? Do you know what? This is it, by the way, for the record. This is where I'm going to have to call it. I, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, I stream up until this time. So I'd like to see you there if uh, you would like any more of this rubbish. But for now, I'm going to get out of here. That was kind of a good session. Chris, man, I made myself a spinny wheel and discovered all sorts of new stuff I could make. We are entering the Black Metal Age. Wah, it's been pretty good. I got absolutely... I got one-shotted while picking barley, then pulled every creature from every biome except the bosses and somehow survived, and then went back and died again. Pretty much that. Sounds about on par. Right, I'll see you all tomorrow for the final Valheim of the week, and then after tomorrow, we enter the first Physics Friday in Polybridge 2. First time I've played a Polybridge game since 2017. Damn. Right, but for now, that is it for Valheim. Thank you all for joining. Welcome to all the new people. But I'm going to press this, 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 and this. And without wasting any further time. <sighs> right. Before I get out of here, boys and girls, as you all know, the Doomhouse Discord is split evenly down the middle between the greens and the oranges. You get a uh, colour randomly assigned when you join, and what was supposed to be a nice decorative experiment turned into a civil war. Christmas was a typo, but a sense you respond to it. I'd like a PS5 and a puppy this year. The word is not come. Right, if you'd like to compete in this Doomhouse bullshit, if you'd like to be do what Chris Man did yesterday and win the person of the century of the goddamn uh, year of... Wait, I can't speak right. I've been flustered by that attack in the planes. If you would like to be the person of the century of the day and you would like to win marbles, oranges, this is our opportunity after Chris Man brought us level to take the lead. Greens, if you'd like to not get involved, I would appreciate it. But for now, if you'd like to compete, you must be in the Doomers Discord. You must know what colour you stand for. And you must simply type the password. The password is... Locks. Go. Had a pint last round the in-laws on Sunday. On the wrong angle. Red, red, uh, on the, uh, the wrong angle, red... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at everybody. <laughs> There's about 15 different words here. Right then. Person of the century of the day wins the golden name in Discord and, the, uh, and there can be only one. Currently it's Chris Man after his win yesterday. We've got Scotty for the greens. We've got Cardi for the greens. We've got Tag Slack for the oranges. We've got Trim for the greens. We've got Kitten for the oranges. Razor for the oranges. We've got Easy Green for the Greens. We've got Tiny Green Good Morning for the Greens. We've got Chris Man My Love for the Oranges. Alkyrion for the Oranges. Mindrite for the Oranges. Expunginator for the Greens. Chaz, Chas, Chaz for the Greens. We've got Satan for the Oranges. Mina for the oranges. Cats, welcome to the stream for the greens. We've got Lundios for the greens. I've already got Razor on for goddamn stupid siddles for the uh, oranges. We've got Jamie, Kami, Jesus Christ, Stubler, concentrate. Jamie for the greens and Santa for the greens. Did I just guess the number correctly? God, look at that. Oranges, do it. We can finally, after a seven point gap at one point, bring it back to the orange lead. We are currently tying the scores. An orange win today would be massive. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have Scotty, Cardi, Dag Slack, Trim, Kitten, Razor, Easy Green, Tiny Green, Chris Man, Alkyrion, Mind Dry, Expunginator, Chaz, Satan, Mina, Cats, Lundio, Siddles, Jamie, and Santa. Fuck. Nine oranges. 11 greens. First person to pick a number between 1 and 10 picks the level to go. Why am I so nervous? Use 30 seconds out, Satan says 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, says Satan. Marble Centuri is the name of the level that we are playing on today, ladies and gentlemen. 
20 marbles enter the race. If the oranges win, we take the lead. Three, two, one. We haven't had the lead for a few months and we thought we'd never see it again. Is this when Mina gets her first point of the year? Jamie is the record holder on this level with 2 minutes and 10 seconds, which I don't think will ever be beaten because this, ladies and gentlemen, is a better gentleman, is a beast of a level. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Come on, oranges. Damn it, Lundios for the greens early, early doors is out in the lead. Trim for the greens, second place. Easy green for the greens in third, and Kitten for the oranges is currently the most advanced. This is all green apart from Kitten. Cardi for the greens right behind, gets overtake, gets the overtake on Kitten, but Kitten is fighting it. Alkerion's trying to get round her as well, but he just can't do it in Lundios. Oh, he's just done it as I said that. Can Alkerion maybe get round Easy Green and Trim? He's got a more central path. Lundios gets chopped, but he does get through. Trim gets good momentum as well. Easy Green's out. Cardi takes fourth place. This is looking very green as we speak, boys and girls. Fifth place currently belongs to an orange. Trim is out in front. Don't look at me. Roger that. Mina jinxed you again. There's no such thing as jinxing. What's next? Believe in it. <laughs> right, Trim now holding the line at the front of the pack. A golden Trim is one of the worst things that could possibly happen in the Doom House. Easy Green gets overtaken by Mindrite and Alkerion. Cardi's holding Mindrite back. Trim fall, fell back after I mentioned his name. Maybe there is such a fucking thing as jinxing. And Lundios takes the lead. Santa is sweating as we speak. Mindrite's getting some good racing lines, though. I'm liking the look of Mindrite. Cardi just held him back in the tight area, but Lundios is well out in the lead. Can Mindrite do some damage? Come on, Mindrite. We need this. Jinxing happens, but just not to Lundios. Siddles is here as well. Trim's here. Easy green. They're all arriving. Lundios is so high up, we can't even see him at this point, but we're going to keep an eye on Mindrite, who's the only person that could potentially get the overtake. Alkerion's here as well. Siddle still in fifth. Cardi second for the greens. Lundios first for the greens. Mindrite third for the oranges. Mindrite, get him! Does Lundios get his drop? Mindrite could get a better drop and just overtake the pair of them here. Ooh! He did, he got a good one, but Cardi just manages to maintain his lead. Cardi is desperately trying to fight Mindrite back so Lundios can take this. But Mindrite might get a good angle on Cardi here. He did! Mindrite takes second place. Cardi's right there as well. Can Mindrite go all the way and kill off Lundios? Alkerion fourth, Trims overtaken Siddles in fifth, Lundios is flagging up top, Card is right behind him, Mindrite do this! Okay, Mindrite's got a bit of a different line to Lundios and he is gaining on him slightly, Card is dropped back uh, a bit, Alkerion's in fourth place, Alkerion will need you to take out Cardi, Lundios still in the lead, there's a lot of level left to go, is there a boost pad here? There isn't, so they should get a similar, there is! The card he just give mind right. I think he just bumped into him and shot him forward a little bit, yeah. Chris man, this is tight, but well, there's a lot of level left. We get ready, ladies and gentlemen. This gets spicy this level around now. We need Lundios to hit one of these central pillars and mind right to breeze through. Mind right, be careful. Mind right! Oh holy shit! Lundios dodges the central pillar, mind right's gonna hit it! No! Oh card is gonna get the overtake. Lundios is miles in the lead. They both avoid that one. Can Lundios have some last minute trouble? Lundios enters the bobbly bits. They don't stop him at all. <coughs> Lundios has fallen. Easy Green's trying to get round. Lundios is off. Easy Green takes first place for the, for the Greens. Is Easy Green going to fall off the fucking level? Easy Green's manages to get more central. Does Easy Green win it where Lundio struggled? Easy Green str Oh! Holy shit! There was a slightest chance Mindright fought all the way to the end. But just when Lundio struggled at the death, Easy Green retook the lead and not only retook the lead in the race, retook the lead in the year. The Greens get their 60th point and the orange streak comes to an end. The Greens are back in charge. Easy Green is your person of the century of the day, boys and girls. Congratulations to Easy Green. Fuck. That was a good one, that. Jamie, I think the level used to be significantly shorter, but I aren't sure. Chrisman, are you live right now? Or somebody on his behalf, let me know if Chrisman's live right now.
because we don't often get a chance to do this, and I ain't missing up the opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Easy Green. GG to the Greens, the Oranges. We might have to do another two. Are you... All right, Chris, man, roger that. That's fine, that's fine. You don't have to ask me more than once, that's fine. Hey, Lundios. Ha. Get fucked. <laughs> Fuck. Right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sneak off and get out of here. I love you all very much. Thank you all for being here. Easy Green, you are person of the century of the day. He says, happy fall to me. <laughs> Green, you are now leading 60 to 59. It's a low energy one. No worries, Chris, man. That's all well, all well and good. Right, but I'm going to sneak off and get out of here. Thank you all for joining. I appreciate everybody being here. You are all very lovely. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow for the final Valheim stream of the week. Uh, I think that was a quite good one today. I'm going to keep playing. Chrisman is live, though. Have a lovely day, my lovelies. <laughs> right, I'm going to sneak off. Thank you all for joining me. I love you very much. Killabits is live right now, as is Slops, as is Cheeky, as is Chrisman. Everybody's live. What the fuck? Let's go raid Cheeky. We already had raids in mind. Let's go do it. We don't get a chance to pay him back for all of his raids very often, so let's do it today. Right. I'm going to sneak off. Uh, keep an eye out for Slops, who's live as well. Slops TV. Chrisman11335 is live. Killerbits is live, as is Cheeky. There's probably even more live as well. Everybody's on. Fuck me. But I'm going to uh, get out of here. Thank you all for the bits. Thank you all for the subs. Thank you for the hosts and the raids and everything, as always. You are all very generous. I will see you tomorrow for the continuation of Valheim, and I will see you on Friday for the beginning of Polybridge. Easy Green, well played. Green's well played. Butch Chrisman, Easy Green, Chaz, Kitten, Santa... Lundios, Mindrite, Razor, Cardi, Satan, Jamie, and everybody else. I love you all. Thank you all. But has anybody got us a final word before I send you all over the cheek? Come on, somebody's got a good final word. Womble. Wombles. Well, Alright, yeah, wombles. There you go, everybody. Take the wisdom out of that. Taking wisdom out of that's like trying to find treasure in a dumb... Oh, I see.